Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour and welcome back to a very spontaneous and very epic uh, 2 versus 2 challenge. We have pretty much all the best players inside of one room. Um, so yeah, very good morning to you. Apologize for the, uh, slow introduction there, but yeah, very spontaneous. Just set up the stream, set up the thumbnail for the stream, coming up with the matchups on the fly. Best of 11. We have, have on our hands. Won't be any co-commentator today. It's just me. Got my coffee. We are on uh, an early... <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, on an early start, I've got Big Size and Mad Rage against OE Clan, OE Logica, and Xcal. So, yeah, we're going to kick things off with Volcano, uh, Demo, and Inf Mirror. I'm going to boot the bot back up, dare I say it. Because. Um, Yesterday, the bot, oh, actually, the last few days, the bot has been going absolutely crazy. <clears throat> so I am risking it by putting it back, uh, <laughs> back alive. So, um, uh, yeah, the, the reason that this game is happening so early is because Rage and, um, yeah, Rage is only available at very spontaneous times, usually during the day. I know he was there commentating last night. I actually don't know how he was free. <clears throat> so um yeah we're gonna kick things off with the demo and in mirror xcal logica versus size and rage best of 11 so first to win six games volcano first map and we got demo inf versus demo inf let us know your score predictions in the chat Yeah, let us know your score predictions. I already saw some people. Amjad says 4-6 for Xcal Logica. But yeah, this is a, an early stream. So hopefully catch people on the, the other time zones. AK Baloney, I messaged you on Discord, by the way, in case you wanted to sponsor this. I mean, the challenge is happening anyway, but maybe you want to add a little bit of... Uh, Add a little bit of fire to the pot, shall we say. So yeah, they seem to have a hard time taking spots. <laughs> so we're going to have four, which is Xcal against Rage's demo on this side. And then at the top right, we've got Logica and he's playing against Big Size's infantry. Alan Timber, I'm good, thank you, man. How are you? Yes, 
Yeah, mod deleting the bad comments from the bot. <laughs> it might in the the mod might be there all day deleting all them all them. Uh... <laughs> yeah, deleting all them comments. Okay, so we've got Logica in the top right. He is playing the GLA Demolition in the green color. Top left, we have OE uh, Excal playing as the purple China Infantry. Bottom left, we have Mad Rage playing as the Cyan um, GLA Demolition. And in the bottom right, we have Big Size playing as the orange uh, China Infantry. So yeah, Inf against Demo, Inf against Demo on both sides. So his mirror should be perfectly fair. Excal going for his typical truck rush and si uh, sorry, uh, Mad Rage knows about this. We talked about it yesterday. Oh, actually, he, he mentioned it that Excal likes to go for this truck rush. And the truck rush is coming, uh, but yeah, this terrorist is going to find it. He is micro in it, so he is aware that it's coming. Truck is going to go back. I wonder if, yeah, Rage is going to be able to kill that. So that's a bad loss there for Excal to kick things off. Excal is the one going for a helix, actually. So he's going to be wanting to put on some pressure on Big Size. Big Size not getting the veterancy on his mini gunner. And we've got a worker coming across from Rage to uh, tunnel his mate, to tunnel Size's base. A terrorist here from Logica might actually get in and kill some trucks. It's at least going to... Oh, no, there is a minigunner there, actually. So, yeah. Size playing this pretty standard. He's got three supplies already, though. Whereas Excal's the one going to be the more aggressive. So, Excal's dropped down this bunker here. Rage seems to be probing a little bit with these uh, RPGs. And it could come through from Logica. I wonder if that's going to be a TNT or not. I don't know quite where that technical is going. He's going to drop off some terrorists. Lucky to actually get the hit in the end there because I don't know where the technical was initially going. And it could come through for Rage. Just detonate the demo trap. TNT comes through on the tunnel. But all the RPGs that popped out actually go back inside. So the tunnel has died, but Logica's hit was so far better because the, the supply going down versus the tunnel going down. Obviously, you prefer the supply to go down. So yeah, <clears throat> we've got um, Airfield now going up. Ooh, and a Helix coming through from Excal straight away on Rage. No double, not going across the map, just coming through, killing the tunnel, killing the supply. So, so far, everything going pretty smooth for the top team. Rage did not seem prepared for this, uh, this Helix, actually. He just comes through, kills the supply, kills the oil, evacs the Helix. And has killed this, uh, killed this outpost. <clears throat> so Rage is going to chase away those tentacles from Logica um, but this uh, Helix did unload it's going to kill the supply here as well Mix coming through though from Big Size and do kill a load of tank enters so Size should be able to clear that up now question is what is Excal doing behind this nobody has got that back supply yet for the top team <clears throat> so even though that supply there went down that was basically a free supply for Size because he had, he had three supplies anyway so even though that's gone down he's still on two escal has uh, beaconed the back supply there indicating to give logica that supply so far size is looking pretty solid um rage has expanded to a third supply himself he's still got all his workers here they are collecting now rage decides to push in but escal's there with a quick defense with the uh, outpost to help Defend with this bunker. So, yeah, so far, Rage taking a little bit of a beating. I think on this map, infantry is pretty strong. I mean, uh, you drop down a couple of bunkers and there's very little GLA can do against it. You can't really TNT a bunker because it comes with mines for free. So, Logica is pushing now with his uh, tech RPG and the quads. Or one quad, rather. Logica probably wants to get that scrap there, so he gets the scrap one. And then he can probably use that to clear some of this, but I think he still will lose the... I think he still will lose the technical, unless he uh, micros it very well. He is going back. Size now on the mix. So I, I think size is looking pretty uh, pretty strong here, actually, because once you get these mix out, especially if he gets the napalm, which no doubt is coming soon... Anything Excal makes is just going to be killed by the uh, Napalm mix. Yes, yeah, Sai's doing well here. I don't even know about making this um, propaganda center. Actually, he is dropping down another airfield anyway. Okay, he's got the money for it. He's got those three supplies. Rage doing pretty well ground-wise on the left because even though he took a beating from that Helix, he has expanded here. He's going to need help from Sai soon, though, with the mix. 
So yeah, Sai's playing the most solid so far, I would say. A lot of infantry taking a big beat in there from the uh, scrap one tech. Tunnel there does get um, cleared. Size has not been tunneled yet by Rage. It's now getting a tunnel. But this technical is going to actually get on the MIG and it's going to kill at least two. And Size is letting them all land. I think all four MIGs there are going to go down. At the same time, x is pushing and that's the time when the MIGs are needed. So yeah, big mistake there from Size, letting that technical get through. So the MiG's not going to be able to help over here. So yeah, x pushing back Rage right now. I think um, the top team are the favorites here. x and Logic are very, um, well, x especially very active. And they played together more often than Size and Rage. Rage very inactive at the moment. So even though Rage is a super good player, expecting him to show a little bit um, of rust here today. All players doing pretty well spending the money. Rage probably got the most out of 3k. x still pushing forward with all his uh, outposts. So yeah, looking pretty good for the top team right now. <clears throat> welcome everyone in the chat, by the way. Uh, welcome Pret, welcome Dragan, the site hero. Welcome everyone. Hell Chaz has two streams in 24 hours. Nice. Well, yeah, it's the weekend, man. So uh, it's exactly what we're doing. But yeah, a little bit early today. The MiG's now coming through for size. And that is really helping with this army from Exile. I mean, if all this army does die from him, then that obviously isn't that great. Uh, Exile does have one oil. He has two oils, actually. So x has now got a Lotus out. He's capturing this uh, artillery platform. He's dropped a power down inside of um, Logica's base. Just in case he does lose his base later, x good at um, putting buildings in his mate's base as well. Logica wasting a few quads here. Yes, he's killing some of Rage's army, but he's also lost all of his quads in the process. I think Rage needs to move that quad back because this artillery platform here, even though it doesn't do the most amazing damage in the world, does do damage and has there killed a uh, vetted quad. A little bit of a delay there. So yeah, Rage is now killing this building. If I was Excal, I probably would stop capturing that now because I'm pretty sure when Rage kills that now, I think he gets XP from it. Yeah, he did. He got a lot of XP from that. He got like 200 XP from that repair bay kill. So that was a mistake there from Excal. Capturing that, definitely a mistake when you know it's going to go down. Rage comes through with the TNT on the artillery platform. That's pretty nice, actually, and something you don't often see because they are quite a nice defense. It's a bit like a firebase because you go close to it and it can't shoot. Massive attack here on the right side. Massive, massive engagement. We've got an epic game on our hands to kick things off here. Mix coming through for both players. Emma Trap has gone off on this uh, right side, but that building has not been killed yet. But yeah, Mix strike simultaneously from both players. Got an angry mob out now from uh, Logica. It's an interesting battle on this right side. Mick comes through on this helix. I mean, if that gets to the MiGs, to the airfields, it could go very, very well. I think he's got at least one or two minigunners inside of there. So MiGs are going to go down in the process, but the helix ultimately does go down. Size is about to mine out here and here, actually. So it's a very interesting map because whilst it seems like there's loads of money in the beginning, these supply crates do... You dry up. I suppose actually the game has been going quite a while because the mains are actually uh, drying up as well. Artillery coming across as well as a carpet bomb uh, from size onto x -Gal's base. Artillery is going to land on the main base and the carpet on the main base as well. Might be lucky to kill an outpost as well. Yeah, it does get the outpost and the last truck and kills the power. 
So yeah, Excal doesn't have all that much, but everyone is going to be slowly running out of money. So, I mean, if you get these spots here on the left, this is a beautiful map. It's one of my absolute favorite maps of 2v2. Probably my singly fa favorite map. <clears throat> Mass Broker says, do I ever sleep? Yeah, man, as soon as the stream ended last night, I slept. And as soon as I woke up, we started the stream again. <laughs> this wouldn't be my, my normal my normal routine but because rage is only available at certain times i, I either stream this or we don't see it an epic tv challenge so but we might as well do it it's a sunday there's nothing else i'm doing so yeah there are some lag spikes i mean everyone here has got a decent connection i think but i don't know about rage uh rage has sold his pc a few times so i wouldn't be surprised if he's playing on like a wooden pc but i mean it's this 10 ping so i think it's all right Rage continuing to push on this left-hand side. There is a dozer here that might get cut off. I wonder if that bunker will finish or not. Excal losing a lot. Mix coming through. There is a Vet 2 MiG there as well. Do a little bit more damage. Quads now from uh, Logica as well. Trying to help support. But I think Logica once again is going to lose all of his quads as well. Yep. There is a Lotus disabling the quads. It disables the Vetted one. I wonder if that outpost will now be able to kill it. But... Um, Mig's coming through for a big size, and I think it'll just one-shot the, one-shot that. But importantly, big size before when he t when he uh, artillery Excal, he didn't kill the oil. Why? I don't understand why they're not focusing down the oils. The oils are absolutely huge. Size coming through with the Mig strike once again on the bunker, and there Excal and size are pretty much peg even with the XP. Logica with the lowest XP so far. But when you pop open a lot of infantry outposts, uh, outposts don't actually give you the XP. It's the infantry inside and stuff. So whilst you pop it open the outposts, you kill a load of MiGs on the airfield before as well. So yeah, surprised the XP isn't a little bit higher for Logica. Logica is now level 3. So if he's got a CC, which he does, Demo Rebel Ambush is going to be very soon. And if we've seen Demo Rebel Ambush yet from Rage, he's missing a trick there because the CC is only just going down. Will there be a 24-hour stream? That is the plan one day. I'm just trying to find the right time to do it. I probably need the girlfriend to go away for a while to do a 24-hour stream. <laughs> so Mix coming through for big size and takes out the, uh, the quads there on the right side. Supply does go down as well as collateral damage. Excal still uh, ahead, leading the way in terms of XP. He's actually working his way towards level five. It means he'll have the um, have the EMP. So he's now trying to kill the oil, but it's still alive. Uh, Logic is going to repair it now. I wonder if the MIGs are going to come in through and finish that. I think they are. He just needs to get a couple of hits on it. But the longer that worker is repairing it, the harder it's going to be. So he's coming through with the MiGs now. I wonder if he's going to kill it. He's going to be saved. Logica needs to repair it again. And MiG did go down in the process. His size not killed that oil just yet. Size still uh, got a fair few MiGs. Back here, Angry Mob with the AK-47 coming through. But the MiGs once again take that down. Size so still has his left side, but um, Logic has this right side. So it's a very even game. However, this oil died right at the beginning. So they are down. And this oil's down. It died as well. So the top, top team has two oils, whereas the bottom team have no oils. The bottom team need to focus on that. Emerable Ambush. I don't know if that landed here or not. <clears throat> yeah, Logic is now pushing on this left hand side with the quads. Got a battle bus there as well. Rage takes out the uh, battle bus. Size so coming through with the mix. I mean, if you time it nicely with whatever Rage has got inside of his tunnels, if he even has anything. Oh, the MiG's coming through for both players now. Battle Bus goes down for Rage. One MiG goes down for size to take out the majority of the quads. John and Kel just escapes. Only just, though. But yeah, the fact that the top team, they now have one oil, so that one has been killed. But yeah, they do need to focus that down soon. And Logic is still collecting here, whereas Size is mined out here because he started collecting from that earlier. So yeah, I think the top team is still leading the way so far. <clears throat> Stephen Condal, thank you very much for the donation, my man. 
When Rage is active, he is the GOAT. Domi, thank you for the stream. When Rage is active, he was the GOAT. I don't know. You know, I'd be really interested to see active Rage now spamming 100% versus Excal because I still think Excal would be top. I, st I still think he'd be better because back in the day, Excal used to be better than Rage then as well. Uh, I, I hope I'm wrong and I hope it's more close, but that's just from what from what I know and from what I think. Uh, I think that is the case. John Mikel finally does go down. Burns to this MiG. Rage doesn't have that many quads out. He doesn't have any black markets really either, whereas Logic is now making his second black market. Logic is also collecting here. So, uh, Rage now selling... Uh, one arms dealer. He's not made any markets at all. We were talking about this yesterday about the uh, whilst there's still money on the map, it's better to just be fighting for that money rather than dropping down markets. So, yeah, whilst Logic has got it, so I agree, yeah, you can make markets, but Rage is losing his position. So, yeah, looking pretty rough for Rage right now. He doesn't have a hell of a lot. I think he only had really two quads. You could probably even sell the palace, I think, for Rage if we're like literally clutching its straws or maybe one tunnel. Because he, uh, he needs to pump everything into something or quads, TNTs, whatever, to try and get this area. So looking pretty rough for Rage. Sizes making hackers, I can hear. We've got three hackers here for size. Mix coming through on Logica's supply, as well as the carpet, and that does go down. But this oil has been alive since the very beginning of the game. So that's... Is that not more important right now than that supply? Hmm... The supply is just going to be rebuilt, but an oil cannot be rebuilt. Logic is there by the oil to repair. Excal is now finally making some hackers. Classic matchup. Rooting for Rage in size even though Excal and Logic seem like nice <coughs> chaps. <laughs> Thanks for streaming, Domi. Cheers, Peter Aki's Much appreciated, man. Yeah, rooting for, rooting for Rage in size even though Excal Logic has seemed like nice chaps. Yeah, to be honest, we have all the best players in one room right now. So, uh, I mean, you can have fans on uh, both sides. I don't know if we had many predictions before. I think as some people were picking uh, Logica and Excal to take it by like 6-4 or something like that. But this first game is looking super, super close. Mix coming through. GG from Rage, GG from Size, GG from everyone, and oh, E Clan, Excal and Logica get themselves on the board with a uh, with a one zero. That was an epic game. Uh, next, I think maybe we'll go through this list. We'll go Unity A next, I think. <clears throat> Unity A, and we need to come up with a uh, a matchup. Maybe we do something like laser stealth. This is laser stealth, something like that. Let's do tank versus stealth unity A. <clears throat> I think it'd be pretty nice. Yeah, I think if we say losers pick the spot first, like Rage and Size, they just lost the game. So which side do they want to go on? Because it won't be reversed.
Um, yeah, there are cars in this map, but yeah, if both players, if both teams don't want any cars, then that's cool. Yeah, palm trees can be set on fire. Like if you do a flame wall on some palm trees or if there's like some mix, shoot something near some palm trees, they set on fire. And from what I've seen, they actually do cause a bit of damage as well. So like if you if you shoot in an oil and the oil's very low, this is what I saw on stream the other day or yeah, when I was playing actually, when I was playing with Freestyler. So my oil got shot by an Aurora, an Alpha Aurora. And an Alpha Aurora doesn't normally kill one oil. But the, in the shot, the palm trees around the oil set on fire. And the palm tree fire then killed the oil and finished it off, which I, ne I never really noticed before. I probably had it happen before, but never really experienced it because that's quite a big blow. An oil, uh, an oil being finished off by on fire palm trees is quite mental. <clears throat> Okay, game number two coming up. Who's going to win this one? Another uh, China GLA combo, but different armies this time. Stealth and Tank on Unity A is the map. Another one of my favorite maps, hence me uh, choosing it yet again. We've got big size down in the bottom left with Tank. Rage of Stealth. Ronson, 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 Ronson. <laughs> Cheers, Ronson, for the $5. We've got Logica playing with the Stealth. And then we've got Excal playing with the tank. So yeah, it is a mirror. It's perfectly balanced. Raging Size did get choice of the spot because they um they they lost the previous games. It's only fair. There is a car there. And there is a car there as well. I don't know if it's 100 percent balanced. Is the is the car the same distance to all players? I think it's a little bit further for these players, maybe. Because you, if you CC starts there, you could build the barracks there and then you straight away have that. But if you I suppose if you CC starts there, it's not actually that far, but yeah. We've got um, size coming through with a truck rush. And the Excal, of course, coming through with a truck rush. So the truck's going to pass each other in the middle. Size is a little bit quicker. And there is a worker here, been found by Logica. It's going to get killed pretty easy, I think. Size knows exactly where that is. Um, are we going to see a Helix or any MiGs? No, we've got two War Factories actually from Excal. Uh, there's a few terrorists here from Rage. He does not want to let this truck get in. This room only lacks Dackle, that's true. D Dackle apparently has been playing some Zero recently. I haven't seen him, but Excal told me he actually was playing like a couple of weeks ago. He like literally played a few games. <laughs> I say literally played a few games. Terrorist here. Oh, he is going to catch the truck. I think one... Oh, no, not even one worker went down. So Rage done a beast of a job there. Did keep him busy micro-wise, though. Like, not expanding elsewhere. But Rage is pretty fast. Very, very fast player. <clears throat> is there some sort of distortion on my voice? There shouldn't be, unless there's a problem with my... Uh... Unless there's a problem with my recording software. I haven't tested it this morning. I hope not. <clears throat> Yeah, there is um there is a sound processor it does like add not like loads of effects just makes it sound better and more clear that's all so yeah it is possible that something could be messing up but i don't know yeah let me know if the if the voice isn't good okay so we've got a nice little tunnel on the hill here from logica Excal with some uh, mines here on this front supply. Uh, it doesn't quite protect the oil. The oil still can be TNT'd from the front there. Excal coming through with a flamer on the oils. And that's a really bad hit there for Rage, really. Do not want to be losing these. I think that's going to be maybe a TNT. Yeah, it is. And he's going to try and kill the flamer. It does kill the flamer. And he's got an RPG tech here with a terrorist. He might be able to stop this getting in. Is he going to stop it? Nah, he's not. So Excal now might be able to just force fire down this oil. I think just force firing that is the best choice here. But there's another flamer coming. So yeah, looking pretty rough actually for the uh, left team once again. 
I do actually think this map is a bit imbalanced, you know, because I think it's more unfair for the right team. Because these oils here are more wide open. There's a bigger entrance here. And on the top, it's actually this little tiny entrance. So I think it is actually imbalanced. But that said, the right team is still performing uh, performing stronger so far. I mean, uh, Xcal killing these oils is a huge, huge blow. So Rage, once again, is getting a little bit battered. But he is against tank. Maybe there should be some hijackers or something. Because so far, I haven't seen any hijackers from Rage. Rage is uh, struggling a little bit versus these flamers from uh, Xcal. Yeah, it's weird. I just um, I just reconnected my my microphone. Sometimes it's like it slightly disconnects and puts a weird effect on it. I don't don't know if that happened or not, but yeah, I've reconnected it anyway. But thank you. Let me know if anything if anything ever is not right with the stream. Let me know because obviously you're the you can you you're on the receiving end of it. Well, while I'm recording it, I don't exactly know what you're hearing. <laughs> Okay, a load of flame is here for big size, and there's a bit of a pop there from uh, Logica, but he did need to run away and go back inside of the tunnel. But now there's a help from uh, Rage. They are pushing on these oils. They really need to clear these oils. They really do need to clear them oils. Such a big, important part. But yeah, if you just look at this entrance, look at the size of that entrance to these oils compared to that. It's absolutely massive. But I suppose maybe are these oils more susceptible to dive from the middle maybe you could say that maybe you could say that okay xcal pushing through the middle now um yeah rage once again with his gla is not actually doing that well against uh xcal i mean it is very hard to fight that i mean as stealth i don't even know really know what you do you need to have some help from big size big size is coming with the uh, with the outposts TNT comes through from Rage. I think it's a TNT anyway. It is a TNT, but it does get gunned down. I mean, yeah, with this army from Xcal, you can pretty much attack move into most things, and it, it just will wreck them all. The only thing you need to do is occasionally move your gats back, or, yeah, if there's a load of outposts show up, you might need to go back. But against most things that stealth can make, you just can attack move, especially if you've got an outpost in there. There's going to be no hijackers. Load of flamers here. They're in a big flame wolf for big size. Xcal continuing the push. Well, you can now drop him down a palace. Actually, behind his oils, still think it's a good place because you do you do bunker it off. I think doing it any more forward is probably more of a risk. But yeah, interesting spot. I mean, if they get artillery and carpet later on, that could be an amazing spot because you could kill a palace and two oils. So, I don't know if size is hunted. You know, I know he has a dozer here. Yeah, with them two oils dead and them two oils still alive, it's absolutely massive. But the right team have made a massive mistake because no one has that oil. Left team have also made a massive mistake because no one has this oil yet. I don't know if that rebel even has the capture upgrade or not. So, yeah. Interesting at top level, not seeing the oils being captured is quite a big mistake. But especially on the right side because they definitely have the capture upgrade. Whereas we don't know right now if Rage has it or not. So, uh... Yeah, the, all, all the focus has been kind of in the middle. It's going to be a big battle <laughs> very soon, I think. I think this left team, they, they, they feel under pressure to do something ASAP. They're going to kill that middle building to try and clear some space to go through. There's a lot of battle masters here, but I mean, the defender always has the advantage. You have the defender's advantage. They did clear the, uh, the rubble there. Because if you attack into that, you can get attacked from there, there, there. I mean, if you... If you attack into something and you can get attacked from all sides, then that, that's a lot worse than being able to attack. And you can, you're attacking with your army there. Yes, you can shoot, but they've got a bigger concave. More, more of their units can shoot. We're just going to pop a few units, try and take out this flamer. It's not going to succeed. So yeah, this side could be a weak spot, actually, if he keeps that flame wall going. Uh, Excal's got a load of tanks here, though. There's a Stinger site going up. I don't know if that's... Stinger Sight's going to help or be a detriment, actually. Because it's splitting up Excal's army. There is a speaker tower going. It's going to make a big difference. But yeah, this attack from the left team is not going well at all. There's so many units here from the right team. 
It's going to be a battle burst stream from Logica as well. <clears throat> the Nax says, good luck, you've got humanity in your group and extravaganza. Why, why do I need good luck? <laughs> My results against humanity are absolutely amazing. You want to you wanna place a bet? I'll beat humanity. We can, we can do a bet. We'll do a big money bet. <laughs> I'll tell you we're coming through for big size. It's going to be on the oil. Is it going to kill any oils though? Oh, it does. The last shell for the artillery. Last shell. Did I say shelf? The last shell of the artillery. Let's kill that. Uh, interestingly, look at this little creep forward here. This is an interesting situation. You would never guess that's Unity A, would you? Because the oils and all the stuff has been deleted there from the map. But yeah, one oil of logic is did go down. So it's a little bit more even. Rage is collecting from there. Uh, he's not teched up at, at all, Rage. He's literally focusing on quads. So yeah, different again because Logica looks in a better position. He's got his palace. He's got his, uh, his oil. Maybe Rage just thinks tacking up at this point, making a making a battle bus is not worth it. I don't know. I think a battle bus could be quite nice, actually. Artillery comes through on the oils. The left team has no oils whatsoever right now. Antipro says your group is humanity, peace lover, and Percocet. set. That's quite a... It's not like the group of death, but it's actually quite... Because peace lover is pretty good. Sexy Mexi, I highly rate him. He's very good. And humanity. Um... <clears throat> but yeah, pretty cool. Big, uh, big attack here from Excal. Loads and loads of battle masters. No hijackers from Rage. No uh, battle buses. He could sell his main supply. Mm, Rage has been mainly focusing on quads, but quads are not very good against this. There's a big army here from um, Size as well. We've got a lot of battle masters, and all of these battle masters here from Excal are all getting bunched up. Excal's bringing in a load of ECMs. The battle bus coming through now as well. Oh, Firearm was joking about humanity. <laughs> well, I thought you were being serious because humanity's actually done pretty well recently. Didn't he? He beat Mr. X like 5-0 or something like that. I mean, Mr. X isn't super top level or anything. He's, pre he's pretty good. Was it 4-0? I don't know what the score was. Did humanity beat Fire Lord as well in a tournament recently? I don't know. Uh, whose mines are those, by the way? I think they are sizes. Uh, one oil is still there. Uh, Logica now finally on the second oil. That was a big mistake. A few uh, more black markets going up for the right team. It's basically the same as last time is going to happen. The, the, the right team took the advantage with the oil kill, but even more so in this game. And now they can just camp it out. It's the left team that are under pressure right now because they pretty much have nothing. Um, Logic is actually collecting with a truck. He must have hijacked that from the beginning and did miss that. I did wonder where that truck went, actually. Speaker Tower here is going to be repairing those trucks, even though it's taking damage in these bunkers. Look how fast the water's flowing now. I've upped my FPS, by the way. I've upped it to the max. I think it actually goes even higher, you know. Oh, no, it doesn't. 144 is the max. What? Hang on a minute. I've got it on 144 hertz. Yeah, it's going up to 167. I don't know. <clears throat> Yo, Herb, welcome. 
Oh, Philo didn't lose to humanity. Okay. Did humanity be aces? I don't know. I, I'm losing track of Wow, big angry mob attack combined with battle masters and the uh, ECMs here from Excal. The screen isn't shaking. Doesn't it normally shake when the battle masters are when the battle masters shoot with the overlords with sorry, with the um, autoloaders? Or is it just when a yeah one of the, one of the tank goes down? It's something little subtle things like that you don't realize in zero. Even when a V dies. Or is it when tanks fight tanks? I'm not sure quite what it is. You see the screen shakes a little bit? I love that little effect. It's really, really cool in Zero Hour that not everyone probably thinks of. Like if you're going to make Zero Hour again and you have to remember all the details, the screen shaking is not something you realize. Even when a V dies, um, the screen shakes. You don't really think about it or really realize, but when you actually look at the screen, if you lose a V, the screen shakes. Oh, I need to disable that heat effects, by the way. The screen goes black sometimes. Artillery coming across from uh, big size, going to be on the other oil. Might actually catch this worker and the angry mobs there as well. Artillery comes through, but this time it's not going to kill it. It all depends on where the shells fall. I don't know if that's entirely random or not. I think it is. A mind drop comes through there. If that had been an EMP, that could have been absolutely massive. I mean, he is level 5, is uh, Excal. Excal still has a beast of an army. No air units for him. Uh, Logic are dropping down even more markets. So the longer this game goes, the more the right team are going to win. They've got two oils. They've got all these black markets. Left team are struggling. Struggling for cash. Size doesn't really have much at all. He's got a few trucks to his name, and that's pretty much it. He's got oh, some stealth battle masters. Do stand corrected. <clears throat> yeah, I do think Rage is not at his best right now. I think he's um I think he is rusty. He's not been playing like half as much as any of the players here. Um, and these first few games, he has had a difficult situation because he has been against infantry as the GLA on like a, an enclosed map. And he has had stealth versus tank here, which if you're not making the hijackers, it's going to be rough. But yeah, I'm hoping we see some legendary play from uh, Rage a little bit later on. He has played okay here, but straight away losing them oils was a massive, massive blow for him. Rage is now dropping down a palace and an arms dealer. I don't really know if it's worth them staying anymore because you just look at this amount of markets, it's definitely GG. Logic is dropping down even more markets. Oh, I missed the EMP, someone said. Yeah, I did miss the MP. Apologize for that. But regardless, I think it's, uh, I think it is over, especially with this engagement here that Rage does not want to be taking. He's not even collected all of his supplies here yet, whereas the right team have collected it all. Um, Excal was allowed to get this supply here, whereas interestingly, Rage was allowed to get that supply there. So yeah, would it be a bit, better, a bit, a bit better to get the the tank more money here because the tank probably has more of an impact here? I, th I feel. The left team right now doesn't have anything. I mean, I don't know why they're staying in the game. And I know staying to the end sometimes makes for really GGs. But, I mean, the enemies have two more oils than you. And they've had it for pretty much the whole game. Um, yeah, they don't know it. But there's <laughs> also a hell of a lot of um, black markets. I'm sure if they saw the black markets, they'd just quit. So he's just scared of a sneak attack, I think, because he's beacon there to do a tunnel. So Logica is going to drop a tunnel. <clears throat> someone said, have I seen my group? Nah, I haven't, but someone told me. I think it's a nice group, to be honest. You don't, you don't want to... Um... 
<laughs> Making a hacker as tank. I mean, you got to think at this point, what is one more battle master going to do than one hacker? What is one more battle master going to do right now than one hacker? Like the game probably is going to go a few more minutes. That hacker probably will pay for itself in the next few minutes. I don't know the exact maths. I mean, it's earning five dollars every couple of seconds, and then it will obviously vet up as well. This guy's done a beacon back here. I think he's signaling to do a sneak attack, maybe, or maybe a stealth worker from from Logica would be an idea. But well, Lewis here disabling the battle bus, and the battle bus does get disabled. The screen goes black, by the way, because I've got some weird graph set, gra graphics set in. Switch on. I need to disable heat effects, but I can't do it until after the game. So if the screen goes black temporarily. <laughs> Next level pro. <laughs> Mind drop outside of Rage's tunnel. He's going to need to get a worker to clear that. So he's instantly got one on... Um, on uh, clearance of mines. to be coming through for big size and that's going to be probably oh it's going to hit the oil it's not even going to kill it though oh they've got a gg man they... there's a scud storm out made two hackers there is a sneak attack used for oh for rage actually he needs to pop his stuff but yeah the oil does go down but he's gonna lose everything in the process there's so many units here for the right team so, yeah, looking pretty rough. I mean, there's another scud. I, I think the right team can just push because the left team don't have enough. So I've even made an internet center. Uh, Jarman on a bike from Logica. Is it going to get to vet three, though? That is the question. Got a mine drop from uh, big size on this tunnel, but I really is way over. It was over ages ago. Logic is just having a look around, looking for some stuff. There's only one market. There isn't it. Let's with two hackers in there. Artillery comes through on Rage's Palace. This is definitely GG. I just don't think the left team know. <laughs> I just don't think the left team know how many markets are out for the right team. So yeah, logical disconnected, but that's hundred percent. That's hundred percent over. So yeah, actually that's probably a blessing in disguise because Rage does not have all the time in the world today. So rather than see a, a, an already over game to the end, I'd rather see something else. So next, let's see another map. <clears throat> let's see...
Let's see. Uh, what map we got? Laser. Uh, laser and uh, laser and nuke. Laser and Nuke Mirror Make Make is the map. people talking about who's the best 2v2 player at the moment i think it's xcal is the best 2v2 player um and i think that's magnified by how active he is whereas like people talk about dk crazy but dk crazy never plays he like rarely plays zero hour anymore so do you compare in apples and pears because uh, what you want to compare is crazy active versus xcal active if they both played a thousand games a month then who would be the best then they will probably be close but right now definitely Excal is better than crazy, I think. And and yeah, mag even if they were both active, I would probably still put Excal ahead. However, the fact that he's just way more active, I think that um, makes him better than crazy. Although that it is close, Crazy's still an absolute beast. But I think Excal's better in team games and in one v one. I mean, Excal's levels, levels, levels ahead in one v one. But in uh, team games, I, th I still think X-Cars ahead. But yeah, mag magnified by the activity. <clears throat> I think here today we've seen... Yeah, x -Gal and Size have been the strongest for me so far. Logic has done, done, done good in all, all games as well. But Rage has been a little bit weak so far. But you would expect that though, because he's super rusty and really never playing zero i don't know what usb device keeps connecting <laughs> anyway we've got uh rage and size on this right side we've got nuke for size and on the right side we've got rage uh, sorry top right we've got rage with this uh, laser and then the top left we've got xcal with nuke and bottom left logica with laser wife and kids send away so i can watch domi's dream Peace and love, everyone. Finn Dharma with the beast donations yet again. Thank you very much, man. $100. Thank you so much. I don't know what this USB connection... It keeps beeping as if the USB device is connected or not. <laughs> does it when I boot up the game? It does, it, does it when I boot up my PC in the morning? And it does it when I'm playing as well. It's very weird. I need to have, probably check my connections. But yeah, Finn Dharma, massively appreciated, man. $100 donation. Absolutely massive. Thank you so much. Logica going for a drop. And he is going to drop Rage, actually. It is a very wide map. And if actually you look at the shape of the map on the mini map, imagine this water here is a penis. <laughs> the level of this stream has just dropped. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, it just looks a little bit funky, the mini map. <laughs> <laughs> it's called make makes made by the russian community i think drop here from logica on uh sorry rage's uh, base is going to keep him from collecting but there are two barracks here from uh, from rage logica has done two supplies whereas rage looks like he's going for the oil cap he does have a range there already with the capture upgrade and rage could just sorry uh, logica could just camp out inside of that building it's going to cause rage some problems but there are some ranges here now Especially if Rage gets flashbangs, he could clear that building out. Rage is now going for the middle oil. I do like these more eco booms and going for the going for the oils early. Typically, that player has a big advantage. We actually got a helix out of the top uh, left player, which is Excal. 
And double war factory actually from size. He's spamming units all over the place. Looking like he wants to expand here as well. But is this helix from Excal going to pay off? It's an expensive investment for uh, Logica. Sorry, yeah, for Excal. Does get pushed back and revealed as well. And the Ranger. No, the Ranger does get stopped. That's good for Excal there because if he Rage gets that one as well, it's bad news for them. There is an all down here as well, though. Malik says, go to device manager and see which device is causing the problem. How do I see that? Is it? Do I just have to leave that open and see which one is reconnecting and not connecting? Yeah, the kitty. Somewhere over here, I think. Uh, these three gats from big size. going to cause some problems. Logic has now got two Vs out. This helix is going down here, but it is low HP. It can't go back to land anytime soon, though. Is there a prize money for this challenge? Yeah, there should be. I uh, just not have it 100% confirmed. People message me all the time saying they want to sponsor challenges, but no, no one's ever awake at this time. So, uh, yeah, either Bonatrol or AK Baloney will be sponsoring this one. Well, uh, Big Size is losing some trucks. He has expanded here, though, and he's losing some more trucks to this uh, this Helix. Rage seemingly a little bit slow. He's dropped down a laser turret here. He's got a V here that's a little bit low. This V coming across the uh, the fancy bridge. I like this map as well, to be honest. This is like... The, the, the green on it is not too like harsh on the eyes. It's pretty nice. ECM there. Is that going to deflect the uh, missiles from the Flamer? Uh, no, it's not. The Flamer does go down. Again, looking very, very good for this left team. Missile defenders here are going to take out this uh, war factory of big size. Size is taking a bit of a beating. What can Rage get done? Because Rage needs to make some kind of an impact play here. At the moment, it's looking pretty rough for size because he's getting uh, hit by this helix. And also now by these Vs, whereas there's very little Vs out for Rage. Rage actually made three ambulances. <laughs> what has he made three ambulances for? I don't understand that. Why has he made three ambulances? Yeah, size. I mean, you can play like a beast, but if you've got a helix flying around combined with these Vs here. Definitely looking pretty rough for this right team. Alex says, if the USB device has a problem, you see a yellow circle next to it. Okay, let me check that. Um, Micro Bree says, how do I fix restricted NAT router? I think the only port you need for zero hour right now on Game Ranger is port 16,000. So if you've opened or forwarded or whatever you call it, that port on your router and you're still getting it, just ignore it because you just press the continue. As long as you're playing games, as long as you're connecting, it doesn't matter about that error message. Because, I, I mean, I get that error message every day, and I still play Zero Hour every day. I mean, you see me playing Zero Hour <laughs> hundreds of games streamed and watched every month, and I get that error message all the time. Don't worry about it. Uh, Sai's still taking a bit of a beating here. Uh, where is Rage? What's he doing? I think maybe did maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe he did send some units, but size desperate needs help, and Rage is sending Battlemasters in. Sorry, sending his V straight to a Battlemaster, but it wasn't microed back. Uh, Excal now dropping down a uh, nuke and a CC, boxing his dozer in there, Sim City style, so it won't get hunted. But does he have another dozer anyway? No, this is only one. I just feel like size has taken too much of a beating here with. Just a little bit too less impact from uh, from Rage. He even did get that oil. But like, it's like dropping down that, like too defensive. He made a lot of infantry in the beginning. The size was the one able to get that, whereas Logica... I think actually, yeah, the, 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 the left team have just played it better supplies-wise. Because xcal has gone for that supply and that supply like he's supposed to. But Rage in the beginning only went for that supply and didn't expand. So yeah, the, the left team had four supplies straight away. But Rage did go for the oil boom. It just seems to have not paid off. 
I think Sai's just taking way too much damage to do anything really here. And by the time Sai's even recovers, there's going to be nuke migs out. Four nuke migs is going to be on that overlord. It's going to be an epic hit, actually. If we just follow the path of these. If we just follow where they're going. Oh, actually, Rage already GG's. GG from uh, Big Size. Yeah, looking pretty rough at the moment for Rage and Size. But yeah, like I say, is Rage's rustiness coming into this? Or is it just that Logic Green Excal is just too strong a team? Let's see some uh, Tournament A, I think. Maybe Tournament Island. Let's see Tournament Island. USA GLA versus... USA GLA versus Tank China. USA GLA versus Tank China. Is that balanced? You probably have to give the favor to USA GLA. Three zero so far. Excel and go halfway towards victory. Size and Rage needs six to win. It should be Excal Rage versus Size and Logica. Uh, although I do agree, Rage put this together. So yeah, I'm just the, I didn't really arrange this at all. Rage arranged all of this this morning. Tal R wants to see a four Air Force matchup mirror. Uh, I don't think they'll uh could work to be honest could work okay then so we have mad rages china vanilla down in the bottom right we have big sizes china tank down in the bottom left we have uh logica is gonna play as usa here along with x as gla and i think the china team has the weaker armies here but on this map you can bunker it off so definitely uh, definitely a chance
But yeah, if you bunker it off, do you want to do that? And do you want to camp against the Jilly? Um, yeah, is Excal going to TNT? I think they're probably going to double size here, maybe. Let's see uh, Let's see what they got. But yeah, even if Rage and Size lose this, they will get a chance to play as the other team as well. So maybe this will go 1-1. One, one. Let's see. Uh, Micro Bree says, My network provider does not allow me to change the ports. It provides random ports. So I don't know what to do. Well, you can't log into your router and forward an open port. Are you sure? Never heard of that before. Anyway, we've got Mad Rage down in the bottom right. He's playing with the China Vanilla. Down in the bottom left, we've got Big Size playing as China Tank. Top left, we have um, Logica playing as the USA Vanilla. And top right, we have Excal playing as the Purple GLA. Are we going to see a double from the top team i think we are and i think it's probably going to be on size logica is going for a drop it looks like a five ace with three missile defenders and i think that will be on i think that will be on size drop is a little bit delayed because he has to pick up that um missile defender twice but actually it looks like it's going on rage Rageston War Factory Barracks, so uh, maybe he can make a tank into it. I'll have to cancel his uh, his capture upgrade. Rage is moving the truck. Logica has actually flown over there and then gone back. I wonder if Rage did cancel that or not. He's then flown into Sizer's base, dropped off this dozer. Going to be now making a fire base, I think. Drops off the missile defenders. Size is going to crush one of them. Not the others. The gat now might be able to come in with the with the dose. Those just get stops. That rush has gone completely failed. And uh Rage now getting the oils in the bottom right. Whereas the, the top team, they wanted to go for all that all-out aggression. But so far, Size has handled that very, very nicely. TNT comes through here for Excal. Going to hit the supply and do some damage to the War Factory as well. No other terrorist there. But yeah, with that supply dead, Size is a little bit uh, hindered now in terms of how much money he's got. He needs to wait until he drops off one more truckload and then he can remake that supply. V almost going down there. I think it might actually, if those tank owners do shoot. I wonder if they're going to be able to shoot. Because if they do... Oh, it didn't shoot. Sometimes they bug out if you don't evac in time. So yeah, that V surviving could come back to bite them. Logic has basically done a complete all-in. Deck RPG is coming through for Excal. And this is a very hard push on... Um, on size. Rage is now dropping down an airfield. But the gap there from Rage has gone down as well. That's coming through for size to try and defend against this. Well, Logica is only on one supply. So if size can hold, I just the, the thing is it's a big if if he can hold. Because size taking an absolute beat in here. Mig's now coming through for uh rage. I think size is probably feeling a little bit sorry for himself because every game here he's been taking an absolute beat in. It is hard for rage though to help because he is China vanilla. So it is uh, it is hard. Mix going through, combined with the Flamer. Going to be uh, hitting this power now. I think Size is out of doses, actually. So Size has been killed very, very quick here. And under four minutes, it's getting absolutely wrecked. Even though that Missile Defender 5 ace drop completely failed there of uh, Logica, Size is still left with basically nothing. It's all going to be down to Rage now. Can Rage 1 versus 2, both of these guys? Excal's now got one oil here at the top right.
super tech now for Excal. As well as all these quads coming through. Megs are still flying around. He does not have Meg armor upgrade yet. So, I mean, if you don't kill all these quads on the first strike when they come in. And the uh, the Megs will go down. And, yeah, there we see two Megs go down. Does take out, like, one quad. One quad. Not worth it. Rage is now taking size of supply. It is possible for Rage. It is certainly possible. But the super tech is still alive. Definitely needs to be hit by the mix. There's going to be a drop on top of this and size. I oh, know it's actually Rage. Rage's supply does get cancelled. Uh, top team now has both foils, whereas um, the, the south team do not have both foils. Only Rage has his oil. So it's going to be, yes, double the economy versus. Uh, well, not almost double because size is still collecting there against single economy, yeah, so. Excal is also going to get some XP from killing that middle build in there. Excal is way ahead in terms of XP. Big size with the least, but he did get hit pretty hard. Uh, bottom team here do have the weaker army, so even if they lose this one, it might be a chance for them to get themselves on the board. in the reverse Rage has a lot of migs out I think he uh, does need to go for some oil kills he could go all the way to the left side of the map fly up the up the um, side of the water and then uh, hit these oils he actually wants to go for these right ones but there are stinger sites there or well, one stinger site and a load of quads as well so these migs do not want to go that way this could be GG right here yeah it is that's GG even though he's going to get both oils it's not worth it for losing all the MIGs, I don't think. He's lost every single MIG. If it, I know I know it's all right because we could, we don't have the Fog of War. But if he had gone on the left, he could have killed those two for free. But I suppose the longer the game goes, more chance Rage does have. But yeah, losing that, that's a lot of MIGs, man. It's like 10Ks worth of MIGs. What was it, 4,800 times 2? 9,600? Meg's now rebuilt. Comes through to kill the technicals. Technicals are going to die, though. And this one is a terror attack here from Excal. So Excal probably feeling a little bit under pressure. And our mines here on that bunker. So ever since all of them MIGs went down for Rage, he has kind of redeemed himself because he stopped all of those attacks and killed all of them quads. So now it's looking pretty rough for Excal, actually. Excal's economy is going to dry up here on the right side soon. It's going to be just on that one supply. Size miraculously is not dead. <laughs> Rage is going to get uh, Size's oils. Are they playing on 1.04 plus? No, this is regular patch. Unless I say it in the title, it's a regular patch. I don't know how many more games I'll be streaming of that patch, to be honest, because I, I think we're better sticking off with the original patch. Even though I agree with most of the changes, nobody plays it and nobody probably ever will play it. So I prefer to stick with the original patch. So yeah, unless unless there's some big money or big grand finals involved, probably won't stream that patch anymore. As much as it's cool and I agree with all the changes, I don't think it's right to implement it to our community because you'll split the community. Anyway, don't want to start that argument again. <laughs> Size still is alive somehow. Uh, Logic has a load of Crusader tanks and is not hunted because he does have a CC strat and is making um, supply drop zone. Artillery coming through for Rage. And that's going to be on one of the oils. Might kill him actually because the mix have come through. Ooh, sad for Rage. Doesn't finish it. Uh, but the card bomb has finished off the strat. Logica now coming through with these Crusaders and Avengers. But there is a, an outpost here. And these Gats could just pick off the, the Avengers. Even if they lose lose a few Gats there. You can still pick off the Avengers and then allow Rage to come in with the air units. Because they're both bottom team now. Um, yeah, they are on more money because of the oil kill there. 
Oh, shame for rage, though. I mean, if that carpet had come through as well, that would have been very good. Yeah, big attack now of Crusaders, Quads, Avengers. Looking like a pretty deadly force, actually. Uh, Rage is desperately trying to drop down a bunker. But I don't... Well, it is going to be finishing time, but the army's already here, already dealing damage to it. Size is coming in from the top, trying to pick off the Avengers. Mix comes through, do a big firestorm, actually, and it is causing some uh, big damage. So they are doing a big push. And I mean, if these two oils go down now, that will even things up in terms of the money. More mix coming through for uh, Rage. Size is trying to take out these Crusaders with Gats. He has retargeted too soon, though. So, yeah, a few Crusaders actually did survive longer than they needed to there. Mix coming through now. But do hit Size's supply. Maybe Rage wants to kick Size out of the game because Size is only on two buildings. <laughs> so every bit of damage he takes, he can't repair it himself unless Rage is going to bring... Uh, that's bad targeting there because he did have six mix, five or six mix. So yeah, that quad did need to go down. It is a vet three quad now, and this oil is taking a hell of a beat. And that oil needs to be saved for the bottom team if they're to have any chance, really. That's the only thing going for him is the the oil difference right now. Uh, interestingly, no one is getting this yet. This is very weird. I think Logica, it would have been worth him to make an extra Chinook and been collecting from there. Or an extra supply. Or Egg Scout to drop down the supply, maybe. I think le leaving the supplies till till the end is not the greatest strat, I don't think. Size is about to get kicked. So Big Size surrenders. Uh, oils have been beaconed here to be repaired. Loading mix game free to create a firestorm and kill kill those quads. Size is now completely a wall actually. <laughs> hey, he's probably quit because he doesn't want to um, doesn't want to give tips to Rage. But yeah, looking uh, like Rage is under quite a bit of pressure. Another airfield going down for Rage or being placed up rather. Rage is seemingly holding, uh, but yeah, after losing those oils there and the top team already having some secondary eco. Still think that the, now them oils have been cleared, the top team at the moment have the economic advantage. Um, Logica has not even set a strategy there. He's just dropping down drop zones. Logica doesn't have a hell of a lot, actually. You can hear from uh, Logica, but there are mines dropped there straight away from Rage. Rage coming through with the mix. There's a Colonel Burn here, so if any MiGs are made there or any MiGs land there, they are going to get gunned down by the Colonel Burn. Rage does have a CC. Logic has a CC. Excal no CC, but he is, uh, he is past level 3, so I hope well, Eggscale that he has um, built a CC and then cancelled it it's just so he gets the bounty upgrade. Excal has too many quads right now. He doesn't have AP ammo, but does he really need AP ammo? Because quads are pretty good against the MiGs anyway. Uh, Rage does have the MiG armor upgrade. Search and destroy. 
palm trees there a little bit on fire and uh yeah search and destroy deployed another power plant going down for logica logica just seems to be pretty much chilling at the moment i mean after that big attack they did he is just chilling camping behind um Excal's defense probably the best thing to do because any army you make at the moment probably can be gunned down by the mix unless you make loads of avengers i don't think that's the best way of winning here i think actually going for the drop zones is the best way some of them are a little bit bunched up so it could be a good target for carpet and artillery combined like those three buildings there could be spread out a little bit more GG from Rage. GG from all players. 4-0 is the score, but now Rage and Size will get to play with the stronger armies. So can they get themselves on the board with this one? Let's see. GG. Sergey Lemons has this wasted time for 350 people right now. Well, you'd be surprised how many people in the past have either told me during a game that the game is over and I've come back to win or mentioned that a game is over and some other players have come back to win. So yeah, it's not always over until the fat lady sinks. But yeah, Rage did do GG just there. You were right. I mean, it's not always wasted time. For example, let's say you're in a GLA mirror and you... Your arms dealer gets TNT'd in the first few minutes. So you're just going to like quit and GG there because you think you've lost the game or are you going to play? The amount of comebacks that happen in Zero Hour are actually some of the best replays. So yeah, it's not always wasted time. Some of, the, some of the most epic and best replays are where players have come back from almost death and then won. That's how you make a legendary replay. So yeah, it's not always over. K in the chat says it's going to be 4-1. Could well be. Stephen Condell in the chat says more likes for this video. Yeah, I agree, man. Like this video. 4-0 is the score. Is it going to be now 4-1? Xcan Logic are taking the time to think about this one. They have got um, disadvantage here. But we did see that game actually did go 15 minutes. So... Yeah, comebacks are definitely possible in Zero Hour, especially when you get to like level 3 or level 5 in like a tank mirror, for example, when an EMP comes out and EMPs your whole army, even though you could be losing the whole game, you can EMP an entire army, like a tank mirror, for example, and then you've suddenly a 100% win for the other guy has gone to a 50-50 game or to an 80% for the other guys here. Um, example, if Rage had used a really decent carpet in that previous game, let's say Logica had not invested in them drop zones, and come forward with an army like here for example and then a carpet from rage comes and kills that then um yeah the game can suddenly change let's see what the oe clan have got up their sleeve this time we've got logic and xcal down the south with the pink and the purple color playing as china for xcal and tank for logica top left we've got big size playing as the usa and top right we've got gla for um, rage. So are we going to see a double again? Are we going to see some aggression out of size? He has done only one supply, so potentially. Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish head. Fish heads, fish heads, eat them up, yum. 
<laughs> Some of these donation messages do get weirder and weirder. Yo, uh, Orgasmatron, thank you for the ten dollars. Much appreciated. Haven't actually seen you around for a while, Orgasmatron. That name rings a bell. You used to be here a hell of a lot. Where have you been? Welcome back to you. We got um, Logica playing as the tank. He's gone for two war factories, two supplies. Gatton outpost is the first unit. We've got a terrorist here from Rage. It's going to be on this uh, supply down here. Going to be harassing that dozer. Is he going to kill some trucks? Helix has been revealed. I think he would have seen that helix. And uh, yeah, terrorist does go down to the mines. Eric's now being built by Excal. He's bunkering in his oil so they don't get killed. We've got a V and an ambulance here from Big Size. He's going to come in from the back here and actually kill probably this Gat. Is the Gat going to get any damage off at all? So Size there does kill the outpost. Does take a lot of damage on this V though. So it does need to be careful when he engages this. But the Gat is also very low. Helix coming through for Excal. It is a speaker tower helix. And I think it probably has a flamer in there. I wasn't actually watching. It does have something in there. Yeah, he is going for the flamer, I think. Uh, but Rage has a lot of quads, so that could go very bad. Has Rage realized this helix is here, though? I think he has. Flamer there from Logica does get gunned down. Maybe this is the top team's chance to get themselves on the board. So far, everything is going their way. They have laser locked and killed all of the stuff. Um, Excal coming through with a Flamer on the dozer of big size. Is it going to kill it? It's a pretty, pretty weird investment to kill a dozer, but he does get it. Size is now expanded to a, another supply. Laser lock comes through on the flamer, and that does go down. So, uh, Rage is now applying pressure on this right side. There are MIGs now up for Excal. Rage is establishing a forward tunnel here as well. He's on two arms dealers, spamming quads out. Is only a best of 11. So remember, Excal Logica only need only need two more, really. So yeah, top team are under a bit of pressure now. Mix come through and hit big sizes V's, and he killed three V's. Absolutely huge there for big size. I'm sure he's uh, kicking himself about that one. Didn't bring Avenger or anything like that with him. On the right side, there are tanks for Logica. Gonna clear this spot here of Rage. Oh, damn misclick. Oh, Yo, sir. Okay. Face. Thank you very much, man, for the. Two euros, much appreciated. And here on the right side, these gats have now been forced back because there are so many quads here on this stealth tunnel of uh, rage. But um, yeah, Excal's doing very good teamwork here because with those MIGs, he has used them to hit the Vs of um, size. So yeah, so far the bottom team are doing pretty well given the armies. Rage is now making Scorpion as well. Does have the um, Scorpion rocket upgrades. That's going to be pretty good against these gats. Sergey, thank you once more. I'm going to click again. <laughs> Much appreciated, man. Thank you. And then... Uh, ooh, he's going for the dozer hunt. But... Size is quick to save that. Has now moved the Chinook more forward in a more open position. This Helix, I think... No, is it, is it empty? Yeah, it must be empty because I can select it. If it was full. If it was full, you, I don't think you'd be able to select it by dragging a box around it. Okay, worker now establishing a tunnel here on the left side for Rage. Flamers here now going to try and clear this out. But there are scorpions here, so those two flamers will get gunned down. 
I think if, if Rage does a big tunnel pop now, he can win an important engagement here. But the question is, where's his stuff? And his stuff is over here. So yeah, Rage, uh, is his stuff out of place? Maybe he was anticipating uh, this mega attack coming in. I think that's what it was. But yeah, he has lost his forward position now. So he's going to have to camp it out a bit more. He's making a palace. Everyone still has their oils, I think. Yeah, they do. So they still all have their oils. Logica focusing on the ground army. Angskal is focusing on the um, air. I think my phone or broken heart. Sergey, thank you very much. 42 euros once again. I think your phone might be broken. <laughs> uh, Helix is still flying around. Ah, uh, this got the napalm bomb, I think. <laughs> it's keeping size busy, that's for sure. Now the MIGs are going to probably try and come in. He definitely wanted to dozer hunt size, but size now got his CC. So yeah. Looking a little bit of a cagey affair at the moment. Bit of a game of a chess, moving these units around. Uh, MIG's now going to come in and kill the quads. Two MIGs get gunned down. Actually, three, four, five, six MIGs go down for the firebase. But now Logica can enter the base of size. Size probably desperately now try trying to build Crusaders. Oh, no, not Crusaders, actually. I think Crusaders... Avengers of Logic, it was a pretty decent combination before. Helix is now coming in, but uh, only kills a couple of workers, really. Does the napalm bomb that I talked about. Logic now pushing in with this army of uh, Gats, ECMs, Battlemasters. Looking pretty rough here for size once again. He was doing okay in the beginning, but it was that mix that turned the tide. When he came through and annihilated all of his Vs. Sai is focusing purely on Vs. Rage now come in to help with these uh, quads. Too many Battlemasters here though for Logica. But the Gats are thinning out. So if he kills, manages to kill the Gats. And then just has the Battlemasters ECMs to worry about. That could be... That could be one way of clearing up this army, but there's more Gats being reinforced now by Logica. Logica has flame walled on this right hand side to stop Rage pushing in. There are Scorpions in this army, but not many though. Rage did sell that supply over there. He's fo focusing purely on army. Escal now coming through with the MiGs and annihilates Size in one shot. Size now has no units. So yeah, the bottom team played uh, played these armies far, far better. Excal proving that he is this beast in uh, 2v2. Was able to do the MiGs way better than, um, than Rage did, really. Yeah, Size is losing his base. Uh, I feel a little bit bad for Size because I think Rage is trying his hardest, but it's just that the bottom team have just annihilated Size pretty much every time. Blaze Lock comes in on the Battlemaster. I suppose if they kill that one Gat, like I said before, you can beat this army. But it's just killing that one Gat. That's the problem. The MiGs are now preparing again for another strike from uh, Excal. The army of Logic here probably will get killed here. And this is going to give Rage and Size the XP that they so need. But the MiGs are now coming in. There is an Avenger there. They do kill the Avenger. But not the oil, though. It was a lot of MIGs that, and now they know that the MIGs are going to be targeting the ores. I think it's pretty pretty much a given anyway, but they know that they're at least thinking it about it now. So yeah, you need to worry about saving that. Oh, the artillery's coming as well. So yeah, that, that oil's going to get finished. Looks like a level 2 artillery. I think it might kill both. I might be wrong. Let's see. One oil does survive. That's annoying for Logica that one of them survived. But he did kill one, though, so that's cool. Colonel Burton is now out for big size. Going to be causing some damage here. I mean, if you get a nice little bomb in between there, you might be able to kill both buildings. Still a hell of a lot of MiGs here for Excal. 
He's preparing a helix as well, actually. Everyone's spending their money pretty well. Size has the most, but everything he makes seems to be getting annihilated. So I can understand if he doesn't want to make anything anymore. Because unless you have a load of Avengers, I mean, to defend against that many MiGs is kind of hard. Uh, Colonel Burton is going to be placing a bomb on this war factory. I don't know if I agree with that. Because these oils, why are you not targeting the oils first? Why is he not killing the oils? I don't understand. Maybe he wanted to stop a gat and an outpost coming out. Okay, fair enough. But them oils are so, so important. That's one theme I'm seeing with the top team. If we are to pick a little tiny holes in the top team's play, is that they've been less focused on the oils. Remember the volcano game? The... They didn't kill the oars on that one for ages. Big drop here from Big Size and killing a load of MiGs. What a beast play from Big Size. How many MiGs are going to go down here? Absolute loads. Every single one. Size might have single-handedly won the game right there. And the, the Helix is... Oh, baby. Size, what a beast play. That's going to have to go in some highlight reel. Apparently, YouTube's going to be creating clips like in Twitch, and that is going to have to be clipped. What a beast play there from size. I think he single-handedly won the game with one attack. What a beast drop. And meanwhile, he's killed War Factory prop and one oil. What an absolute legend that is size. Beast play. Yeah, here on the right side, we've got this battle bus with the quad. It's going to kill one of the airfields. Uh, XR still got his oils, which is very important. He's got 4.5k, so he's not out of this. There is mines here, though, so Rage probably doesn't want to engage there. Rage is just trying to kill what buildings he can. Actually, he's gone round the mines with the battle bus. That's important. Is he going to now focus down the oils? There are two more MiGs now out for XCAL. Size looks like he wants to go for another drop. Uh, and that other oil has died. The top team are suddenly doing very, very well. They've got three oils and a drop zone. That 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 drop from Size single-handedly, one move, won the game for the top team. Just shows you're in zero out, even though you're way behind and you're losing the game. One little moment or one epic play can change everything. Yeah, one epic drop like that and all of their mix went down like what 12 mix which is like what almost 15k's worth of mix Ooh, bit risky there from xcal gg gg is xcal gonna play it out nah gg well played to rage and size but mainly size mvp what an absolute beast of a drop Three KBS says dominate definitely like size. Watching size is amazing, but you cannot deny that that one single drop won the game single-handedly. The game was looking real rough. That one single drop was a beast move. A lot of my terrorists and demo trap killing my own oil at the end.
Uh, the bot seems to be going crazy again, doesn't it? I'm going to cancel the bot again for a bit. Okay then, Tox Air against Tox Air on Tournament Tundra. We've got Rage down at the bottom right with Tox. Size with um, Air Force down at the bottom left with the orange. At top left we've got Logica in the red Tox. And top right we've got um, Excal with the uh, purple Air Force. So yeah, interesting to see how both players are going to play this, or both teams are going to play this different. We actually got a Truck Rush, <laughs> not a Truck Rush, Dozer Rush here from... Uh, Excal, uh, is Rage going to be prepared for this? Mm, he has done a forward barracks, but has he seen this forward dozer? I don't think he's going to be prepared for it. Terrorist is now coming out, but he's actually going the wrong way. So yeah, this uh, could go very bad straight away for Rage. So I just got a second supply up quick and dropping down an airfield. Actually doing a drop inside of Logica's base, and he's probably going to succeed. Yeah, and inside of there, I wonder if it would have been a good idea for actually Logica just to box that off with a fake barracks, or just a... Even a real barracks at this point. He just tried to put his tunnel over the worker. A terrorist did finally kill this. Don't know if he killed any workers or not. This those are still running around, causing some damage. Causing Logica loads of problems, actually. Size is actually collecting from Logica's supply. Logica's tried to do two arms dealers. That's what he's tried to do. The first technical is out, going at Rage. He's going to get gunned down by this uh, Raptor. Rage is trying to establish his forward position here with the tunnel and is succeeding. He has got a quad out and already harassing uh, Excal here on this forward position. Size and Rage will be using voice communication 100%. They were playing just last night, I think, probably on voice communication, playing Twilight Flame together with uh, GLA Air Game. Uh, Raptor's now coming through for Excal. Take out that one quad pretty much for free, but there is another quad straight away from Rage. Uh, Logica doesn't have that many units out right now, but it's because uh, Size has been doing this harassment. A V coming through now for...
uh, size as well. And it is killing these uh, these workers. Kills two workers, probably a third, maybe even a fourth. Yeah, and a fourth kills all of the workers there. He did harass there for ages as well. Escal's trying to hold on here as long as possible. He's taking out multiple tunnels, but there's quite a few RPGs now. I wonder if they'll be able to take out a Raptor. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Nope. They all shoot at the same time. They should be able to kill a Raptor when it flies right above. Rangers here are going to push back these uh, RPGs. The problem is for Rage, every time he loses a quad, he has to make another one. And then by the time he's made another one, the Raptors are out again to kill it. So because he keeps sending them one by one. Yeah, it's kind of hard. The Raptor's now coming through. Take out the worker there, as well as the uh, as well as the quad. It's a bit of a one versus one times two on this map at the moment. It's like size versus logic on one side, and Excal versus Rage on the other side. An interesting battle on both sides. I think size is coming out on top on this side, especially after that that hit there from those Raptors. Size is playing a beast again. <laughs> He's got three airfields now. Excal's only got two, but he is doing pretty well to hold Rage, but Rage is still applying pressure to this supply. And that Chinook there does go down as well. Maybe Excal now needs to come through with a hit on size to kind of help kind of help uh, Logicus. Logicus is having a hard time here. Rage got a decent amount of quads out now. I say decent is three, but it's enough to now take out a Raptor and still apply pressure here. So yeah, uh, Rage and Sai is doing really, really well in this so far. Sai so showing how Air Force is meant to be played. Uh, but yeah, Excal, unfortunately, I think Excal even is the better air player. But uh, in this situation, Rage has played it 100% right. Just kick kicking Excal off the supply, not really giving him chance. GG from Excal already. And uh, yeah, the Rage and Size are not out of this. 4-2 is the score. Very, very quick game. Our quickest game, actually. Interesting. Tournament Tundra is one of them maps where it's close to. You're, you're very close to the enemy base. So you can do a rush. I think we need to see it in Tournament A. Maybe Tournament B would be nice. Tournament B, let's go. So GLA and Nuke will come up with next on Tournament B. I think it's a decent map and matchup. Similar to one on uh, Lucifer Arises Challenges. I don't know if he has Demo and Nuke as one of them. But it hasn't been played a hell of a lot. It's not been chosen that often. Because people generally don't really like this map because it has so many buildings on it. It's a bit weird, but every now and again I think it's pretty decent. How did Big Size get his name? Um, didn't even know there was cars. Maybe there is cars between those buildings there. Excal's going to play as the nuke here. Sai's going to play as the nuke. And uh, Logica Rage going to play as the GLAs. So yeah, 4-2. A little bit of a closer score. Did I see the time when Rage beat both General Zonimin in a 1 versus 2 on this map? No, but I can imagine it. Because General Zonimin aren't even like remotely competitive players. So I can't imagine that. <laughs> 
Uh, we got Rage and Size playing over here. Um, Rage is playing with GLA, Size with the Nuke. Top right, we've got Axcal as Nuke and Logica as GLA. They're saying car's not allowed. Yeah, I didn't even... Oh, there is a car and a van. I don't know if you can get in that van, though. I've never seen it used. So, yeah, you've got one car there. I'm imagining... Yeah, there's one car there as well. I don't know if you can get in that van, though. What even is the van? <laughs> it's a cow van. <laughs> Our van. Oh, there is cars here as well. Cars here. Yeah, there's so many buildings on this map. It's a decent map, to be honest. A lot of people don't really like it all so much, but I think uh, I think variety is good, and it's just one of their maps that has a lot of buildings. It's a pretty decent, fair, balanced map. The bit that's always weird is like going for these oils, because once you garrison this and you get a tunnel up there, it's kind of hard to come back from. Yeah, both nuke players here are seemingly going to go for a helix. Ooh, Rage cancelled the tunnel there of Logica. That's a big hit, actually, because that's $800 lost there of Logica. Rage going for a technical, it looks like, with one terrorist and some RPGs. Uh, Excal went for a truck on this worker, and he's going to get it. There is a terrorist there, though, to chase this away. Truck is still coming through. Um, the terrorist is actually going to go for the Red Guard. It does take out one of them, but one of them does break through. Rage has uh, been beaconed here by size. Uh, technical comes through. Is he going to put an RPG inside of there? RPG and the terrorist is going to try and stop that red guard when he just tried to capture anything. Technical now coming through. Uh, Excal is going to reveal the helix, so he now knows to make quads. He is making quads anyway, actually. Uh, helix is going to chase this tentacle here and is that gonna what's it got and it's just empty it's empty just keeping uh size busy and he's keeping him very busy because this helix is not even gonna be able to hit it technical comes through he's gonna kill a load of workers here okay so rage has saved the majority of his workers did lose two but rage has lost a load of workers here as well so yeah technical's doing pretty well there for logica Logica has secured this position and boxed in his workers here and got the second supply and got a decent control of the front as well. So Sai's not collecting at the front here right now. And he's done his supply here too close. So he's not got a perfect supply placement. I'm expecting to see nuke MIGs in the late game. But will it get that late? Let's see. Uh, Excal trying to get one oil. Is, size, is, is Rage going to remember to pop that terrorist out and hit that? Is he going to see it in time? Oh, baby. That's a big loss there for size. Do not want to be losing that helix. That is an expensive loss. Don't think he was expecting that many quads. But yeah, there were quite a few quads there. These RPGs are causing some harassment here for size. It's a flamer there, so they should die eventually. Yeah, they're going to die anyway with the help of the tunnel from a weird angle. Mm, helix coming through on big size and kills one truck, kills one dozer, and now it's going to get the other dozer, I think. So yeah, <laughs> size is those ended after three and a half minutes. Again, looking pretty rough for big size. Poor size. He did lose his helix though, so it was partly his fault. He could, if he had that helix, he probably could have fended off this one. So yeah, probably want to keep that power alive and maybe give Rage the power. But Rage has also lost all of his workers again because this technical keeps coming through and killing them all. That supply at the back is going to go down. Looking pretty rough, actually, for Rage and Size here. Logic is showing it's still got the strength, even after conceding two games.
Elis is now out for size. I mean, I've seen size come back for, before from having no dozer and still manage to do something. He's, I mean, with these mass helixes, maybe he can still do something. But Excal now has these two oils over here. Uh, Rage is seemingly just want to kill this oil. Excal now already has a nuke. Uh, he does have a third oil now, so definitely looking pretty rough for Raging Size once again. The water does shake like crazy. You know what changes it? It's actually my refresh rate. So I've got 144 hertz monitor. Um, so I actually have it on 144 hertz there. But if I change it down to 30, you see how slow everything is now? Put it back to 144, everything's super smooth and the water goes faster. So yeah, I'm not saying that's the absolute best way to have it. <laughs> but I do recommend getting 144 hertz monitor and playing on a higher refresh rate. I think you have an advantage in the game. Feels more smooth and buttery. It's probably the best way to, or some, how some people describe it. Logical dropping down a hell of a lot of tunnels. So there's nothing really going to be breaking through that anytime soon. Uh, size is still obviously on no dozer rage is still collecting but he's been harassed so much dropping down a palace and never arms there he's only collecting on free workers there stinger site is going up Let's take out these nuke makes no doubt size is trying all the aggression he can but excal is just kind of chilling with these nuke makes in the back whilst logica is uh putting up this superb defense uh palace going up for logica as well makes coming through for excal and that's going to take out the Helix. So there are quads here. It might lose a couple of MIGs. It does not have the MIG armor upgrade. If the, even if the MIG armor upgrade is to save one MIG there, it's definitely worth getting. So yeah, I think MIG armor is underused. A lot of people do get it later, but it's, de it's, definitely, worth, um, it's definitely worth more people getting it and sooner as well. The shed that supply is now mined out. Oh, about to be mined out. was a nuke cannon with a neutron shell and now rage cannot use his tunnels <laughs> has logica got power yeah, yeah, yeah he has he's uh, been neutron shelled excal's neutron shelled a dozer and give logica power so yeah logica has power right now so yeah very good for gla uh gla with power builds at twice the speed whether you're building units or buildings build at twice the speed neutrons once again oh it's not neutrons this time it's just uh normal nuke shell i say just a normal nuke shell <laughs> as if it's not as impactful as a neutron do um neutron shells exist or neutron mines or neutron anything exist in real life is there a neutron bomb in real life 
probably is, isn't it? I don't actually know fully what it would be. I think it'd be like a nuke, but what is it? Split a neutron or some shit? I don't actually know. GG and uh, Logica and Xcal make it 5 2. Okay, let's see some tournament A action. Let's see. Uh, what have we got? Tournament A. Tournament A. Looking for V2. Tournament A. And let's see uh, what, haven't, what GLA haven't we seen. Let's see laser. Laser and stealth mirror. I don't think we've had yet something like that. Okay, let's go, baby. Okay, so we have uh, Rage down in the bottom right as the Jilly Stealth, and at the top right we have Big Size with the USA Laser. Top left we've got Excal with the um, Jilly Stealth in the purple, and the bottom left we've got Logica with the red laser. Okay then, so what we can see, it looks like uh, Barracks first Logica, maybe he's going for the oils. He's actually made three doses, which is interesting. It does look like he's going to go for the oils, actually. I think he's going to drop the top oils and then go for these as well with the, with the dozer to crush the inevitable worker that will be here from Rage. Okay, so Logica is going to drop the top oils i wonder if he'll be allowed to get them uh size right now not on much economy he is seemingly dropping the bottom oils or logica maybe 
Maybe dropping off some missile defenders to help uh, rage with this dozer. Um. Okay, a bit of a weird drop. What the hell is size doing? <laughs> what is he doing? He is going to go for a drop on Logica. XL, meanwhile, has gone for three supplies. So his economy is going to be rolling very, very nice. Technical coming across from um, Excal, and it's going to be on this terrorist. Will it be a night stream tonight? Um, maybe. Yeah, maybe later tonight. Probably not till late, though, if there is. Terrorist comes through for, uh, sorry, Rage and hits the Dozer. Missile defenders here from size are all going to get crushed. So that drop didn't really work out. Um, I don't know if XL lost. Sorry, I don't know if Logica lost any Chinooks or not. I don't think he did. He is trying to get one oil. He has got the top two oils. So, yeah, left team ahead so far with two extra oils. Yeah, the bot is absolutely going crazy. I don't know what's causing that, so I'm going to close the bot temporarily. Technical there does go down. Bit of a fight here in the middle. Yeah, Excal's economy will be uh, very, very good because he's on three supplies straight away, which he tends to do a lot on this map. Uh, Rage only collecting here on two workers. Don't know if he's been harassed or not. Logica now on two arms dealers. Rage only on the one. Excal now dropping down even another supply here. Um, Excal's collecting on a healthy amount of workers. Big drop here from size. Uh, Excal is there with a lot of technicals, so I don't think... Yeah, I don't think the right team are taking any kind of advantage here. We've got a drop here from Logica inside of uh, Sizer's base. Has that got anything? Yeah, it has got something inside of it because I can't select it when I drag a box around it. Uh, beacon here placed by Logica. He wants to protect... These oils, it seems. Logica now killing the bottom oils that Size actually did capture. Technicals coming through for Excal, and the, the V there from Logica did finish off that V actually of uh, Rage, and now Logica's got these two oils still. Not been killed just yet. Laser Lock comes in from Logica on this V. Bork Bickle in the chat says, how do I get back in zero? Last time I played was probably eight years ago. Do I play the campaign? Um, nah. I mean, if you want to play the campaign for fun, the campaign is fun to play through and playing the general's challenges. Probably, it depends how slow you want to take it. If you're going to invest loads of time and you want to have some fun along the way, then probably, yeah, play the general's challenges, play, play the campaign. Although the campaign and the, and the challenges do have different, um, some different units, like quads uh, do a lot more damage, for example. And a lot more range in the campaign and in the challenges. So just be aware of that. It can, and it can teach you some weird stuff as well. So if you probably, if you just want to learn how to play multiplayer, I probably would recommend playing against them. Um, play, play under network mode. Never play skirmish because it's a different game speed. And the scroll speed is all kind of weird. And, and the way everything works is just kind of weird. You want to play, play on network mode just against bots. But practice against a hard army 1v1. Work up to 2v1. And then start playing online against some noob games. So that's the, probably the fastest, quickest, most efficient way to play. If you if you want to play the campaign for fun though, then yeah, it, it is pr pretty fun even now to play through. 
Depends what your goals are. So, again, it looks like the right team here are uh, taking a bit of a beat in. Rage has got some control here, but like I was talking to Rage yesterday, I think in V2 that bunker now has less control here. Quad cannon here for Rage. Just going to get caught out by this tunnel. If Vexal pops there, he is going to lose... He is going to lose that quad. This quad living on the edge a little bit here. There is a Toxin Tractor now for Excal. It's probably going to clear this bunker out. It does. Rage just trapped all of these Vs. Well done to him. However, he did lose that supply in the process. And Logica still has one oil here at the top. So Size is now trying to kill that oil. Quad cannons here for Excal now clearing out the middle. Big quad push here now from uh, Rage. Size doesn't really have all that much, but his build order in the beginning was kind of reliant on some big impact play, like uh, to do some damage. His, his drop down here didn't really do much. I think he did get one or two oils, but his economy, not as strong as Logica's. Logica's on two supply is very... Uh, was he on very quick? I think he was on it quicker than Size. Size is just not even on two supplies. He's long distance collecting with one, one extra Chinook. Someone in the chat said that XGAR is now on six supplies. Is he on one, two, three, four? I think he's on five supplies. It's going to be on six if he builds a supply here, I suppose. There's Jean Mikel out. Uh, V's here for size, trying to clear out these quads. Missed out the fence here from Logica, though. Could just laser lock these V's. Uh, he's laser locking the quads right now, but yeah. Rage doesn't have really much of an army right now. Yeah, Rage and Size. I think they've conceded this set. I think it's going to be 6-2. The final score, it was a best of 11. First to win, 6. So, I guess it's going to play some Casino again in the future. Yes, it's on the list. I just go for a bit of a phase sometimes. Sometimes I play a lot of Casino. Sometimes I revert back. I'm hoping in February, actually, if Clan Wars is sponsored again, I'm going to go back to playing 1v1s a lot. So, yeah, but that might be from like a 10th of fair, but I don't know. Let's see. He's coming through for Logica. Do manage to kill quads. TNT. TNT is the ambulance. Uh, I mean, Rage is in a desperate situation. He needs to try something like that. He needs to try a Boyka TNT. Excal now on the bounty. So he's getting a bit of money when he's... I think he's shooting down them drones and getting money from that. He has a lot of quads here. A hell of a lot of quads. CC now being built by Excal. Excal looking very dominant here in the middle. He's got pretty much everything. He even cleared a Rage out of the middle, even though Rage focused heavily on the middle in the beginning. It's a very interesting map, this. I love the different levels in the middle. Like You've got the ground level, and you've got one level up, and then another level up. I can't think of many maps like that, actually, with this kind of dynamic, with the three levels 
like steps. It's very, very interesting. I wonder if you could have a map with like four levels. <laughs> I wonder if you could have like tournament A on steroids or something like this level could be a bit shorter. That one obviously a little bit shorter and then maybe an, an extra level on top. It'd be kind of like King of the Hill kind of thing. Tournament A on steroids. It should be called. <laughs> Any map makers. I put slow mode on the chat to stop the bot going mental. Maybe that will fix things. How did I find out Yami was cheating? Uh, well, G Gentle finds map hackers now. So, uh, yeah, you just have to watch one of his replays. You press NDS mode and watch from his point of view, and it tells you when he's cheated. There's a load of quads here for Xgal. He's got buggies here as well, backed up by a few Vs, a few missed out defenders here from Logica. Logica's got another wave to go back at home as well. Xgal continuing the push. Nice close-up of that drone being deployed there. GG, GG's well played indeed. 6 2 is going to be the score. Very well played. Xcal coming out on top there by far, actually. 120,000. The next closest was Rage of 63,000. But it's because Xcal did that three supply build in the beginning, which is very, very strong. I think Rage did the same, but he didn't have a load of workers on his, um, on his middle supply for a hell of a while. So yeah, GG's well played. OE clan come out on top. GG's well played. Congrats to Logica and Xcal. Mark Smart in the chat says unbalanced, unbalanced, unbalanced. Well. Maple sees size and rage play a 1v1. Yeah, congrats, Logica and Xcal. They win uh, this set 6-2. I'd like to see Rage back active because um, yeah, he's not playing like half as much as... Even Size is playing way more than Rage. But Size only rocks up for challenges. I would like to see fully active Rage. Against... Uh, yeah, fully active Rage, fully active Size against fully active... Xcal and Logica would be interesting. If everyone was fully active, at what level could everyone reach?
Okay then baby, we're gonna do a few 1v1s, uh, size against rage. Let's see. Uh, TD Classic. Any news from Google? Nope. He said he quit. No news. As soon as there is, I'll tell you. Zombie versus Rage Go, Andrew says. I'd actually like to play Rage, you know? But, um, yeah, I'm going to stream this, and then uh, I'm going to go off for a bit, and then I'm going to be back tonight, so we'll play... Uh, yeah, if there's a stream tonight, I'll play some uh, 1v1s for sure. I don't know if Rage will be here tonight, though. That's the thing. Um, yeah, we've got Rage playing as the North. He's Jelly Vanilla with the sign killer and down in the south we've got big size with the red usa vanilla the legendary matchup rage versus size Rage seems to have a bit more free time lately than he has had. So, yeah, we'll try and see Rage versus everyone. I'll try and play Rage. But, uh, we'll have to do a proper set between Size and Rage as well. Um, Rage against Excal. Rage, Rage seems to be losing against Excal. Rage actually going for three supplies, which is very interesting. Mixing things up. Rage will do things like that. He will mix things up. We actually got a dozer from uh, Size. going to try and crush... Some workers here in the middle. I wonder if that tunnel is going to finish in time, though. I don't think it is. Wolf factory being built for size back in his uh, base. That's the thing about um, players like Rage. He will improvise and not just do the standard thing. Um, and I, I like the creativity you see in some of the some of the very top players. Ooh, baby, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tunnel is not going to finish and the V is already here. It's looking pretty rough for Rage. If that tunnel had to finish, that is a big moment. But there is a technical coming to back this up and that will 1v1 the V and the V's Hellfire is actually focusing down the tunnel. Uh, which is important because that tentacle now can do more damage. Oh, there is a terrorist and is not going to hit the Vs. A little bit of a lag spike, it seems. Which is weird because you'd think it'd be less lag in a 1v1. Tentacle's now coming through. This is a big moment. If, if size does deny this, it is huge. Rage is still on a decent amount of money because he is still collecting here with two workers, even though he is getting, <laughs> he is losing this battle and getting harassed. Those workers do get denied. So Rage is now going to have to think about playing a standard game. <laughs> Maybe just forget about this supply. Unless he backs this up and gets inside of these buildings. More V's now ready for big size. No doubt going to be bringing the missile defenders. <laughs> Rage is complaining about the path in. I think it's around here because the terrain and the buildings mess things up. Uh, Barracks now going to be taken down by Sizes V's. And Rage is in a bit of trouble here, actually. These V's causing problems. Size lives on a kebab in Schwama, uh, kebab house in Copenhagen. I heard that, actually. D does he... He doesn't own the kebab house, does he? Or did he used to work there or something? Or no, he just always comes in. He just, it's a bit different, isn't it? He just always comes in or does he own the place? Nah, I heard that. He actually always comes in. 
Think Jesus, how do you, uh, how do you know that? Are you, are you the one that worked there and told me that? Yeah, I think someone, someone told me. Because I was in Copenhagen. I think I even went to the kebab house or I was like near it at least. And someone had messaged me saying, oh, size, size comes in like at all the time or something. He needs to lay off the Donna, man. I don't think Donna's good for you. <laughs> Smart Smart says the losers are playing for third place. Hmm. Maybe. Rage is collecting on a decent amount of workers there, but only his main supplies only collecting on three. I would like to see double the amount of workers there. I'd like to know the difference, actually. How many workers... Uh, how, how much money does six workers collect versus three? I think I do have it written on a spreadsheet that someone sent me, actually. Nickname says, what year is this? Good point. Well, plenty of these out now. He has a tow missile upgrade. Uh, size this. Ex uh, sorry, uh, Rage is complaining about lag spikes and pathing, which is weird because he didn't complain about it in TV2 and we actually have less players now, so you would think it would be faster. Where did Rage go? Oh, I need to turn off my heat settings actually. So while we're here, Sable heat effects. Where did Rage go? Because he was just here and then he just left. Yeah, Rage has gone out, actually. Wonder if he's coming back or not. Yeah, he's coming back. Okay, one zero for big size. He wasn't happy with the lag there, uh, Rach. TD Classic, no cars. He's just complaining about everything. He's complaining about the path in, complaining about the lag and the map. <laughs> He's complaining about, yeah, complaining about everything. But I think it's the terrain over here is a little bit weird. So, yeah, maybe he's just not happy. I think it's a really cool map, to be honest. A TD Classic always ends in, um, always ends in decent battles, I think. Yeah, R Rage is uh, Rage is not happy that he lost. I think. <laughs> See, you're best speaking to people when they're on a win, and you can probably uh, you probably get better information out. But when they're not playing at all, actually, when they're just like, it's when someone wins. Oh yeah, it's the best map ever. If you lose, oh it's the shittest map ever. So, 
You gotta ask someone when they're neutral. <laughs> if they're just an observer. Yeah, Rage not happy. Rage keeping his CC, going for two supplies. And we've got Big Size playing as the GLA. As the red. Also two supplies. Drone is going to get spotted. So that's a mistake there from Rage. I like to place it over the barracks. Directly over the barracks. Because then it's highly unlikely that the tunnel is going to be placed right next to the barracks and find the drone. Bot is going crazy again, man. Fucking. Well, this dozer rush from Rage not worked out quite. Dozer does go down. Uh, drop coming in from Rage now. I think this is going to be a V. Going to try and kill some of Size's workers. This is one weakness of Size. I think if you want to beat big Size. Um, I think one way is killing all of his workers. Seems to be one of his weaknesses. Size coming forward now with his tech RPG. Kills one V. Here's a terror tech here. Got three terrorists, but two of them are going to hit, even though one of them is going to die. So the barracks does go down. So yeah, Rage currently uh, barrackless. Let's kill all these RPGs, though. Rage is harassing size. He's got a Hellfire drone there, annoyingly for size. He does drop off, going to harass some... Uh, some workers but sadly for rage not quite working out and the v there is going to go down i have a feeling rage is going to complain about the lag again because you did see those lag spikes there because it, it was freezing at times are not even going in oh man tech rpg push here from big size gonna harass the power plant and the v's now gonna come in ah but there's too many technicals too many rpgs one v taking a hell of a lot of damage pretty bad for rage right now size winning both the gla and there's the usa uh rage i don't really know what he can do right now but size doesn't have a lot of money because he keeps being harassed i suppose there's one good thing going for him but yeah rage has been uh, pretty destroyed here Snowy Drought, let's do that. Stealth versus Inf. I think could be a good one. Or Stealth versus Tank.
Only BM says, who's the best Reynolds player in the world? If you're talking about Generals, the actual Generals game, without Zero Hour, I don't know. Uh, if it's uh, General Zero Hour, then as of right now, Excal is number one, I think. Stuff against Tank, legendary matchup, and between two epic players as well, Rage and Size. Rage down in the south with the Cyan. Playing as the GLA Stealth, and in the top we have Size playing as the China Tank in the red. Yeah, this is not a best of set or anything, it's just for fun games now. Probably only one or two more games, then I might end the stream. Might be back in later on in like six hours time from now. Rage, interestingly, going for a massive eco boom here. And this might come back to bite him because Size is doing two supplies, two war factories. Yes, he's kept his CC, so it will be a little bit slower. But Rage is literally going full eco boom. And he's done a fake war factory. So, like, this guy, is he going to have enough money for. Oh, he's got two barracks. Mm, I don't know if he's got money for all of this. Like, he's going to have to... Uh, he's planning on obviously upgrading his war factory. Uh, I think already it's looking pretty rough for, for Rage. I mean, it might be a bit premature, but like straight away he's going to lose workers here. Unless he stealths that supply as well, which he's not going to do. Gat here on the right side is going to find that worker. Gat here is going to probably be pushed away by this tunnel. Rage... Uh, he is getting the oil in the refinery right now. So, I mean, if he can somehow kind of hold against this. But he's already losing a load of workers here. There's no hijacker or anything out. I would prefer to see get rid of the arms dealer and make a hijacker to stop that initial attack. Because here he might even lose both, re both rebels here. Rage is coming in with a technical though. And I think he is going to delay that gap long enough for these rebels to capture those two buildings. And Rage actually got himself a dozer. Okay, that changes things a lot. Didn't see that hijacker go all the way over there. And he's got himself a power. Now with power, I think he has a good chance. Especially now he's got the oil and refinery as well. So yeah. I just think it was a bit risky going for absolutely everything. Going for the oils as well as the supplies. A little bit strange. Worker over the left side does get found out and killed. Rage now doing some harassment on these trucks. There's no uh, no mines there, so this truck will probably even... Well, both trucks are probably going to go down here, it looks like. Another truck here being harassed. So four trucks have gone down in the space of just like one minute. So suddenly it's looking pretty good for Rage, actually. Maybe I stand corrected on that build order. I think it was a high risk, high reward, leaving yourself open with pretty much nothing. The hijacker literally went to size of space to find a dozer. It was literally grab power and do a massive eco boom. And so far it might be paying off for him. But Size is losing a hell of a lot of trucks. Like, he's lost every single truck in the last minute or so. Uh, will Rage get caught here? Looks like he might. Uh, he's now trying to escape, but there's two gats here. So I think both of these tentacles will now go down. But another truck goes down in the process. And Rage is even going to just camp it out further in the corner. Might even take out one gat here. Maybe even two. Okay, he does take it out eventually, but... Rage is left in such a decent position. He's got power. He's got... Uh, he's only got the two workers again. He needs to work on uh, the amount of workers he's collected on.
Flame in there does go down. I got a load of RPGs here from Rage. You're going to be harassing size once again. So size has got less units out because he's had to be constantly reproducing these uh, these trucks. So so far, yeah, looking pretty good for the stealth player, which is Rage. More tunnels going down. Uh, I don't know if I can see a palace yet. No, no palace just yet. Flame is for size. Pushing through. Going to take out these... Tunnels, at least one tunnel is going to go down here. Flame wall is a little bit off center there. Doesn't need to recorrect uh, re that direction. continuing this push but i think rage just might have a little bit too much at the moment he's not jumping into a palace straight away he's keeping the amount of quads high keeping the amount of tunnels high rather than investing in that palace and i and i like that for holding on against this uh, that size is doing now size is uh, also being kicked off that supply he's making the barracks at the top right but yeah it's looking pretty uh, pretty bad for size right now i think Rage might be able to repair this building and get inside of it. That will be a very good strategic point. You can actually go inside of that. Not a lot of people know. It's like a little petrol station or something. Fuel station, gas station, whatever you call it in your country. Yeah, petrol station we call it in the UK. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I know it's a checkpoint. It's just a checkpoint building. With like some blurred text on it. But yeah, you can, I think you can put... Can you put one guy in there or can you put multiple guys in there? Yeah, a load of flamers here. You're going to kill a load of quads. And Rage losing a lot of quads. Size... Is almost level three. Rage also. Well, it's already over level three, actually. Palace now being built by Rage. Mm -hmm. Third supply still in play. Another tunnel being built by Rage on this right side. Still a lot of quads out for Rage. Not mental amounts. But still a lot. He's still on power. So remember, he can produce these at twice the rate. I think he's clicked over here by mistake, by the way, with his uh, rally point. I don't know why they rallied over there. <laughs> I think that definitely is a mistake. So I just need to be careful. He's flaming some of his own units there. He flamed his gat and his output. Outpost down. Rage is pushing on this right side now, and I think these key buildings here for size are going to go down. Napalm is now in play. We'll get some veterans see on this flamer. Otterloo coming through. We do have Migs in the air now. Of course, he has the Napalm, as we've seen here. But he's lost these buildings at the top right. Artillery coming through. It's going to hit the main supply of Rage. And does not finish here, actually. Would that have been better placed on the oil or not? Hmm.
to be honest. I really don't know how size is lasting this long because Rage was in an epic position before. But size just uh, putting that work in with Tank and showing us <laughs> what level he is with Tank. Only one truck collecting here, though. And yeah, Rage is primarily focused on these... On these quads. Does he have AP ammo? No, he doesn't because he only has one market and that's in production actually. Mix going through. Killing the uh, the quads there. Flame is here now for size. Going to continue to push. There's a lot of uh, RPGs inside of there though and it's going to help killing all of these um, flamers. Battle bus here as well. Be a micro uh, moving away from the battle bus. Sorry, away from the flamers as it shoots. Quads here for Rage are trapped because of these two flamers, so... So yeah, he has GPS scrambled them though, so he is moving them, but Size knows that they've been GPS scrambled. But I suppose they could just... Do they want to go in the corner? Because he could just end up trapping himself in the corner. Yeah, the fact that they're invisible, probably giving him an easier chance of escaping now. Maybe you want to put that Vet 2 quad here so you can just chip away at the, the HP here, I think. Size on 5.2k. Uh, Rage on 1.5k. Okay, so Rage got a stealth palace here, just in case any units do break through. His market is a little bit open. Maybe that could have been placed more safely down here. Uh, but yeah, this is turning out to be quite a good game, actually. Stealth versus tank, always GG. These quads here from Rage are still trapped, and I think they have got an inevitable death coming at them. Flamers with a napalm, and these quads, yeah, they're going to get stuck. Uh... They are, they are going to get caught out. Both players well ahead in terms of XP, working their way towards uh, level 5. Mass flame is here for big size once again and combined with the MIGs, I think this is going to do very well. Something you see him doing on plant waste a hell of a lot. MIGs coming through, battle bus does pop out but needs to instantly go back inside if it can. It does go back inside. MIG still flying around. He does not have the MIG armor upgrade, big size. Size now expanded here on the right side. To Rage's supply that most of it is still there actually or at least half of it is still there. Wow. Did not know that was going to be an EMP, but it is. And now the Megs are coming through. Where are they going to hit? Another Dozer has been stolen. Megs hit the Dozer. And yeah, all four on the Dozer. I mean, this is a really good target. There's three bombers coming in from size. Of course there is. Mines. I don't know what that other one dropped off. Did it drop off a tank or something? I have no clue. Artillery hits the oil derrick. 
And I don't know how Size has won this game, actually. I really do not know. Really don't know how Size has won this game because it was looking so good. For he did a risky build order rage, but it was a high risk, high reward. And the reward was high. He did very well. But was the downside that he didn't have enough aggressive tunnels out on the map? Maybe that was it. There's a load of flamers now coming for big size on this right side. There's like five here as well as four here. Rage pops a load of quads, desperately trying to hold on. He is getting the bounty money from these kills. Quite a lot of bounty money. Now needs to move away from this area because he's going to get napalmed again. The MIGs are going back to reload. They did hit this, whatever it was. Hmm, flamer or something? Did he sniped or hijack? Rage desperately trying to hold on. Uh, with the palace and with the quads, maybe this is the way to do it. On the left side, though, he's probably going to lose his power plan. And the other those are on the right side did get taken out. So when that power goes, that's no more power for Rage. And he's struggling with the power. So no doubt without the power, it's going to be hard. Size does lose those flamers. Does kill... Well, his oil was already dead, I think, from the artillery. But the refinery is low as well. Actually on fire. Makes him through and kill whatever that was. I think it was another flame is stolen, maybe. A lot of fire on this. That's on fire. That's on fire. Napalm here. This is on fire. This is on fire. <laughs> We've seen a lot of fire, a lot of flames. Uh, sneak attack for rage, but it's more of a defense attack. Anthrax bomb gets dropped off on uh, this position. Nice position, actually, because it's going to kill the trucks without doing any damage to rage at all. So, yeah, very nice position. Rage is still trying to hold on. Uh, Rage is trying to build a supply there. Maybe he was trying to get uh, a China War Factory so he can make a few battle masters. That would have been handy against these flamers. That would have been very, very nice. If you had a few battle masters inside of there, that would have been very handy to stop these flamers. But. Yeah, the supply got killed. The dose has been killed. The power has been. Oh, no, power hasn't been killed, actually. Rage has a lot of quads out. Going to put pressure on the supply. The supply is going to go down. Size doesn't have loads, you know. A four mix. Whose position would you rather be in? Because it's not easy, the situation of size in. It's, uh, he's, do he's doing very well, and he is pushing Rage back. But Rage... It's easier to kind of sit and camp as the Julie. The, the, the tank has got to put in more thought about where these flamers and then where the MiGs are going and stuff like that. Um, that said, these flamers here are going to have some success. This reactor is going to go down, I think. Harpy Bomb comes in, finishes the barracks. This tunnel here probably will get cleared, but Rage has saved his main base. He's got a stealthed radar van as well as a few stealthed quads here. I think, you know, this is going to be very close. This is going to be epically close because Rage has a lot of quads. Size is running out of money, but he's still got some flamers. He's got these mix. This is going to be pretty damn close game. This might be legendary. Might be a super epic replay. Rage now knows there's mines there. He's not going to beacon it though, so is he going to remember? That three flamer down the back here. Rage has a quad there, so... Oh, it's moving now though. There is a hijacker actually. That might be useful. I don't know exactly when it will be able to get to the base because there is these four migs out size now on 4k both players five star but size is still collecting from here and rage right now does not have these supplies rage dropping down to cc so yeah he must have lost his cc earlier i wasn't really focusing on the cc but it did go down hijacker around the back here probably going to get in and get this dragon i think I don't think uh, Size is expecting that anytime soon. I don't think he's going to change the direction of that. Vet 3 Flamer as well. Nice one to have. You get the Vet 3 as well. Artillery coming through. Uh, 
Uh, oh, is he going to cancel the CC? Kills the worker. Rage does cancel the CC, I think. Migs almost kill the dragon, but there is a quad there. Takes out one MIG. That's an expensive loss because 1,600 a MIG. Quad's pushing for rage. They are taking some, some damage, though. You don't want to have damaged quads out versus a uh, tank because the tank can easily just come in and just finish them off. So, yeah, you want to have them on a full HP. So, you will have to go back. That's EMP, I think. Uh, a bit premature. Oh, is that the EMP? It is. And disables two quads, which could be an important important note with this battle but there is a hijacker running after the flamer it does take over one uh, a few quads here might go down actually because the napalm firewall is already in play that quad's going to go down here two quads go down so far carpet bomb coming in but the quads are all going to escape inside of this tunnel cc might need to be cancelled is he going to cancel it nope he doesn't need to actually he needs to get that sneak attack up he needs to get the anthrax bomb rebel ambush gps scrambler whatever he's got he needs to get that in play uh, very close game. I think size is probably just going to nick it, but sneak attack could come in play. But how is Rage gonna uh, gonna scout? He's gonna have to stealth a worker or something. Oh, he's got a Jarman out. He's gonna have to scout somewhere. Does Rage remember that there's mines there? He never beaconed it earlier because he could flame ward it right now, and that could could uh, help him a lot later. If he loses a few units to those mines now, that's very, very bad. Uh, Flame is here for size. Oh, he doesn't remember because he didn't beacon it, man. He's going to lose. Yeah, he's losing one quad. Rage does now beacon it, he knows. Size now collecting from Rage's third supply. GPS Scrambler. Oh, he's got uh, Stealth Flamers. I think we're on for a Hall of Fame replay. <laughs> I think we are. This flame is going to be able to cause some big damage to size. Uh, size does have a few outposts out, but not in the right places. There are mines here, so that flame probably will just go down to the mines. Size does play tank like a beast. He does. I mean, this rage plays stealth like a beast. It's just like I can't, I, I can't imagine like how size has got himself in this situation, considering how bad the start was for him. All right, we've got a sneak attack here on the left. Ah, uh, there's mines, though, and there's no way he can know about the mines. Ah, uh, baby. He didn't even stop it. Well, he knows there's mines there now. <clears throat> and Frex bomb. Uh, I think he was banking on size moving his stuff there. Yeah, he definitely was. Would have been better there, of course, to kill those drugs, but does, uh, does Rage even know about that? I suppose that sneak attack is keeping these flamers here. So I'm still hovering around with his um, with his MiGs. This is not an invisible dragon this time. Size so coming through to stop that dragon. Meanwhile, size is losing uh, trucks on this right side. Is that an every MP? It can't be an every MP. No, that mines. So yeah, needs to move that Jarman out of the way. Needs to flame all this. This is a stealth flamer. So why is that one the not the one going in? I don't understand that. Flamer just get gunned down by the mix. So Rage could use this flamer now to clear these buildings. And then get in the base. But it is going to reveal to size that this is where the stealth flamer is. It would be better to use it from here, I think. Because imagine you get that airfield. Whilst the stealth... Uh, whilst they're all landed... I think this is going to be the last game today, guys, for me. I'm going to end the stream after this one. I'm not going to do the reverse. Because, yeah, I need, to, I need to go. Yeah, the earlier I go now, the more chances that I'll be on later tonight for a few hours. So, yeah, we'll hopefully be back tonight. Interesting game. Very interesting. Size on 3.7k. Does have his full mix. He does not have the MIG armor upgrade. I point that out because they go down a lot easier without the MIG armor upgrade.
Rage just trying to clear these mines. Both players did not have a hell of a lot at all. Artillery coming through again. Where has the invisible dragon gone? John Mikel snipes dragon. Artillery coming through on the arms dealer and does kill it down to the hole though. Hole is going to be rebuilt. Worker here is going to try to get inside of the uh, flamer. Does not succeed. Uh, very low unit count for both players. Not much money left. Any little mistake here makes all the difference. Every little unit loss, whatever, makes all the difference. Carpet Bomb comes in, kills the barracks. Not many buildings left for Rage now. Sneak attack deployed in the back of Sizer's base. And I think these MiGs are going to come back to reload. So, yeah, these uh, this airfield looking pretty, uh, pretty done for. Stealthed Flamer is going to flame down the airfield. Now, has Sizer got another dozer out somewhere? Yeah, he has. It doesn't have that much cash, though. But meanwhile, Rage is losing his entire base. Uh, tank drop. That was what the other plane was before. Uh, CC being killed. Is Rage going to save a worker and build a new base somewhere? Because he needs to. Uh, is Size going to be able to hold this? EMP is due soon, I think. But the CC's just gone down. And I don't... Oh, Size does have a new CC. The mines are here. The napalm is here. These quads are in a difficult situation because there's mines there. These are trapped. These are trapped... Uh, he's got nothing else inside of his tunnel. Size is winning this, I think. Rage is dropping down a CC in the bottom right. Uh, I think uh, Rage is running out of options because with this, the, with this army really weakened now, these MiGs and these Gats outposts can just come back in. He's going to shoot down one of the MiGs. Going to kill this Gat. Going to kill this outpost. Is Rage... Going to be able to hold, I suppose, with that palace against these flamers. I don't think so, because they're both vet three. But size is going to have to probably, what, go back and help his main base? Uh, I don't know. The <laughs> size is going to lose his base, I think. He's trying to hold, but these quads have been microed correctly. They're all vetted now, so they should, uh, they should uh, auto heal. Size built a new CC. He's going to probably go and build a new power down here, I reckon. I don't know if he's going to get radar. I mean, every little penny counts here. These flamers, I think, need to go out this palace now. Now is the chance to strike. If Rage gets that CC up and Anthrax bomb is used, it could kill the flamers. So, yeah, it all comes down to that CC, really. This palace is guaranteed to go down, but it's just, is that palace going to be quick enough? Where are these quads? Quads are coming back, so Rage might actually be able to hold long enough to get the Anthrax bomb, because if the Anthrax bomb deploys... This is going to be insanely close. I think EMP is ready too, by the way. We're down to three flamers versus three flamers. Absolutely insane game. Rage is going to get his CC, so I'm pretty sure the Anthrax bomb is going to be there or thereabouts. So yeah, we've got the carpet bomb, four flamers versus three quads. That's what this game has come down to. Power has or is already still existing, actually. It doesn't need to be rebuilt. A barracks now being, being built by Rage. I mean, with the EMP, can still win size, and with the Anthrax, can still win Rage. Well, I think whatever happens now, this is going to be a legendary replay. <laughs> you are watching history unfold, that is for sure. Did not expect a 30 minute plus, uh, plus beast game. Uh... Both players in a difficult spot. I mean, what can I say? CC versus CC. And Frax Bomb is going to be used on the CC of Size, And that's going to kill these Flamers. So I don't think now that Size can do it. The Red Guard got caught out there as well. These Flamers are going to take a bit of a beating. Uh, it's... Size does save him. But there's EMP. Here comes EMP. Here it comes. Here it comes. And he does disable one of them. That's not enough. There is a hijacker out for Rage. That's it. Rage has done it. Because there's nothing now Size can do. He's got one flamer. But even if Rage just makes one more hijacker, he can. He can just steal that. 
Uh, this flamer here can't go in yet because of the anthrax. It might die if he goes in. But I don't think uh, size can do it anymore. You're going to have artillery maybe soon. Oh, the flame has gone in and died. Rage. What a mistake. I'm actually... Makes it more close, I suppose. Makes it more close. Uh, size does have a flamer here. He's forgotten about it. At this point, you just be double tapping Q and Q it here. Because if you lose the CC, it's over. Uh, size... What is the size even looking at, man? You've got this flamer that you need to use. There are mines here, so I wonder if that flamer will go down to the mines. Big deal if it does. Big deal if it doesn't. Oh, it just squeezes past the mines. What, what even is that? More mines? Tank drop. Dozer is here. You want to save that dozer. Artillery is going to be used. Is that going to be on the CC or the barracks? It looks like a level 3 artillery. Mines here are going to come into play now. That Battlemaster just chased this away. Artillery coming in. I think that's on the barracks. Yeah, it is. So it's CC versus CC. <laughs> and two quads. No size. No, no, baby. Why did you quit? He only has two quads. You have been defeated. Size. He only has two quads. I suppose he's just used artillery. But Rage was hesitant to go in because of the mines. He's he he's hesitant to go in. And Sai still had, I think, one flamer. He could have held on. It's why, Sai, you should always, in that situation, stay until your last building is about to die. I mean, Sai knows best. He, he's got, he can see all the support powers. He's probably like two or three minutes off until the next one. But imagine Rage takes his time coming in, thinks there could be a carpet or thinks there could be mines. Sai says he stole his dragon. But, uh, yeah. What an absolutely epic game. <laughs> Hopefully we get some more of these games later if Rage is still on. But I need to go now, so I'm going to go now. Because if I go now, um, more chance of me coming on later tonight. I've got some stuff to do. So, yeah, if I free up some time for later tonight, maybe I'll be back. And maybe we'll still have these players on and maybe we'll do some more games. But, yeah, it's been absolutely epic, actually. Three, over three hours of very high level games 2v2s 1v1s probably you could say that's a hall of fame game right there so yeah really really cool gg guys thank you for joining and i will see you a little bit later hopefully